Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's play some Kerbal Space Program. I've not played this in quite a long while. Uh, and I actually want to play around with some Kerbal Operating System right from the beginning with this playthrough. But... I'm thinking... Since I haven't really touched KSP, except for a little, little bit of KSP2 for a very long time. Um, just for, just for something to focus on. Why don't we start with a career, uh, playthrough? And we'll maybe do some sandbox, uh, when we want to go into planetary. Uh, let's see. Or chaos. Fantastic. Difficulty options. Um, I've never really tweaked these before. Crew respawn timer. I can't. Oh, missing crews respawn. There it is. No, I, th I think we need. I think we need drama, right? Um, no indestructible facilities. Don't include stock vessels. Persist Kerbal inventory loadout. I don't know what that means. Was that some Kerbal inventory mod stuff that ended up getting added to the game? The entry heat, resource abundance, comm network. I am Sark. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think I remember the comm network was like a really watered down version of uh, remote tech that was added to the game later on. I'll maybe play around with it anyway. We'll see how it goes. Um, all of this stuff can probably stay the same. All right, let's begin. Evil Pla, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Kapow. Uh-oh. Okay, that seems kind of loud. Um, I th don't think we'll be using these extra mods, at least not yet. I'll just click permit all. Uh, into the options. How do I get into the options menu? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Also, is time paused? No, don't, don't pause time. I mean, do pause time. Thanks, I've got it. Shoo, shoo. There we go. Settings. Uh, master volume. Maybe down about 40% from where it was. Okay. Let's do the basics. Oh my goodness, what a barren looking Kerbal Space Center. And what lovely graphical glitches. Oh my goodness. Let's pretend we didn't see that. Uh, I definitely do see the monolith over there, though. I think we need to go get contracts first, right? Aha. Uh -huh. We've got... a bunch of easy missions. Orbit Carbon is the hardest. Uh-huh. Escape the atmosphere, launch our first vessel. And we can only take two at a time. I should have taken gather scientific data from Kerbin. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, how much money do I have? 37 grand. I'm guessing I can't upgrade that already. No. Oh, I don't know if this is where I would upgrade it, actually. Uh, I think this is where you set, like, policies, actually. The admin building. Astronaut complex is for hiring. Mission control. Where do you upgrade maximum missions? Uh, it doesn't really matter right now. I guess. Let's make ourselves some kind of craft. 
Hello, Werner von Kerman. Uh, we have a rather short list of things we can put... A very short list of parts that we can put on our ship right now. I don't really need any girder segments, I don't think. Uh, I am using Ferrum Aerospace, so I think some basic fins would actually be a good idea. And... Parachute? Oh, let's get some science. Why not? Um, just put one over here. And I don't think we really need Kerbal Engineer for this one. EVA Jetpack. Hmm. This is a cargo part that can be placed inside inventories. Does that mean the Kerbal wouldn't have a jetpack if we don't put this in? Oh, we're going to space today? Indeed. Sloda, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Erpad, welcome in also. Personal parachute. I wish I could see what mod this is from. Or if it's uh, vanilla. So far, I'm pretty sure everything I've placed except the basic fin is vanilla. This is because of Ferrum Aerospace. Or one of the attached mods that are recommended or uh, prereq for Ferrum Aerospace. Why should Kerbals put their trust in something that was found lying by the side of the road? <laughs> Isn't that the same text as the like regular power shoot, uh, parachute? Oh, there's a jetpack included by default, it looks like. Cool, cool, cool. Are they, wait, are they gonna, like, automatically pick the jetpack instead of the parachute? Can I remove this? There we go. Uh, anyway, we should probably put a parachute on this thing. And I can't even give it any structural support or anything. So this will have to do. Kerbal inventory system. Don't ask how I remember that. Yeah, I don't have that model uh, mod installed though. I think this was some stuff they added to the vanilla game after the influence of that mod. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's launch this thing, I guess. I don't even have access to the KOS stuff yet. So I couldn't even make a pretty much useless program to use with this thing to begin with. Played Kerbal in its 1.0 times, indeed. I played it quite a few years ago now. Uh, vessel safety rating terrible. Worst part, Mark 1 command pod. But why is it terrible? Whatever, we're gonna find out. I think Jebediah is immortal, even if we do have deaths on for most of the Kerbals. Ooh. We can voyeur into his, uh... We can peek into his command pod. With see-through vision, for some reason. D-Hose, Sigma Bean, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Glacier Wolf, welcome also. KSP-1, indeed. Uh, I think, is this a solid rocket engine? It is not. It is. It is. Throttle doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, we will stage. Apparently that's not the staging button. Um, can I not change the controls from here? Do I have to go back to the main menu? I guess... Hmm. Yeah, I think I need to go back to the main menu just to rebind keys. Uh, what's the default spacebar? Oh yeah, oh, okay, that was already more dangerous than I thought it would be. Ferrum Aerospace is a hell of a drug. Okay, I think we're okay. I think we're fine, actually. Let's just let it, let it chase prograde automatically. 
Also, as soon as we get as high as we're gonna get... I need Kerbal Engineer, where is it? Oh, it's... I have to have a part, I think. There's probably a mod setting somewhere, so you don't need it. Reaction wheel failure? Why? Did it run out of energy? No? Well, we're clearly at our peak here. Observe mysterious goo. The goo jiggles and wobbles as the craft flies. Fantastic. Keep that. And we're gonna need our parachute to deploy. Oh, we can already deploy it. Perfect. Perfection. Nothing bad will happen. This I guarantee. Space should be staged by default, indeed. Gaming is about fun, not bug finding. Indeed. It's not the new one. It is not. Okay, uh, I'm a little scared about fast forwarding time with the parachute out, but if that breaks it, I will honestly just save scum. Um, what's the... What's the fast forward button? Shift 4? No? Here we go. I'll just click up there. Looks like we're okay. Alright, I should re-familiarize myself with the keys. Oh, look at that bounce. And no parts were harmed in the making of this film. So why did the reaction wheels fail? Is that a feature of Ferrum? I don't imagine it's vanilla or KOS that did that. No hint as to why they failed, it just said that they failed. Uh, anyway, let's... How do we... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. How, how do I... How do I recover the craft? It's up here. There we go. Uh, so th there seem to be an awful lot of graphic bugs now. Physics issues aren't a problem until bigger ships, indeed. Thought you were about to make a great big hole? Not yet. Alright, we got... Uh, I forgot to do some extra science. Uh, we got 12 signs. Hmm, 21 actually. Why did we get 21? Oh, we have 21 signs. Cool, cool, cool. And... We get a bunch of our parts back at like 99%, 98% value because they're right next to the space uh, center. Fantastic. Alright, what else we got? Research and dev, 21 points. Basic rocketry is 5. Engineering is 5. Engineering gives us more sciences. Um... This one also gives us more sciences. It costs 15. I can probably pay for that immediately by just putting a craft on the launch pad. Oh, suddenly we have music. That's interesting. I, I don't recall turning the music back on, but okay. Let's put one of these, one of these, and one of these, and quote-unquote launch. Hat jam indeed. I hope you like KSP music. Alright, we're gonna log pressure data. We're gonna observe the goo. The goo doesn't seem to be doing much right now. And we're gonna log temperature data. Not a whole lot of science. Oh, I can do an EVA. Wait, can't I do like a report from the cockpit? Uh, let's see. Con 
control point, rename vessel, crew, crew report, there we go, 1.5 science. We can actually send it all back right now, we don't have a way to transmit data, I lied. Overwrite crew report, keep experiment, and then EVA? I think this counts as flying above Kerbin. Uh, apparently not. I don't think a spacesuit was entirely necessary. Fantastic. Store experiments. And what if we are a little sneaky and jump? Flying over Kerbin's shores. This is a most precarious situation. 5.6 science. Fantastic. Put that in here as well. Beautiful. Um, and I'm pretty sure I already did this one. Yep. Nice. Back in we go. Uh, beep aboard. And recover vessel. How much science packs per minute are we aiming for? Indeed. Herix, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Have a nice stream, thank you. We paid nothing for that. And we gained like 19 science almost. Alright, more research. Can we get any more science from these? We need 45. Oh man. Alright, basic rocketry it is. And we have 14 left. That's all we can get. All right, I see how it is. Mission control. Yes. Uh, where's that easy mission or two? We don't want orbit carbon. We want. What? Carbon world firsts. Did I miss it? Because I didn't... Oh no, I think Collect Science was the mission, right? Launch our first vessel, Collect Science. Uh, and probably get over like 5,000 meters or something. No, there was Orbit Kerbin and there's uh, Escape the Atmosphere, which we've still got. That makes sense. I don't think we can orbit it with the parts we've got so far. Um... Focused observational surveys. Hall Mark 16 parachute into flight above Kerbin. Trivial. Uh, 3,000 to 10,000 meters. Sure. 20 to 200 meters per second. Since we reached like 5,000 earlier or so, that should be very easy. Hall Flea, that's the one we already used. Into flight above Kerbin, 14,000 meters. I don't think we can reach that yet. Well, not with one flea, anyway. Uh, hammer? Test at the launch site, sure. Oh, I already have too many missions. Where do we upgrade so that we can have more missions? Fundraising campaign. Costs rep gives money. These are not what I'm looking for. Turns rep into science. Money into science. Pay a little bit of science for a bunch of money just once. Or at least once. One-time effect, a strategy does not remain active, can be accepted as many times as desired. Where do we upgrade the bill? Is it right-click? There it is. 75 grand. So we can have more missions. I, I should probably not do that. Should probably just check off one or two of these easy missions. 
You could probably keep those two. Test hammer at the launch site. Let's put some fins on this thing, or we will fly off in a random direction before we even get started. Is KSP 1 better than 2? Uh, it works. There's lots of mods, lots of support. Um, I, I, for now, absolutely, yes. Uh... Oh, we've got, uh, Druge Hutes now. I think those can be activated while we're moving faster. Right? Auto cut speed 0.5 meters a second. Drag coefficient 1. Max temp. Redeployed diameter. Minimum deployment pressure 0.02 atmosphere. That's twice as much as the... Oh, sorry, that's half as much, as in twi about twice as far away from the ground as the Mark 16 parachute. Deployment altitude 2500 meters. Redeployment speed... Two seconds? Two seconds is not a speed. Anyway, um... Give me a Drew shoot, why not? Two of those, please. KSP1 has been out for years, KSP2 is in beta status. I would say pre-alpha is more... accurate. It's almost unfair to compare, yeah, it really is. It is nowhere near a finished product. Um, all right, so what are our jobs? All Mark 16 parachute into three to 10,000 meters and slow. And I think I have to like check it off at that time manually. And escape the atmosphere. Uh, how much does this craft cost? 3.7 grand, okay. Okay, in that case, uh, saved. In that case, I will pay the 75 to get more contracts. Oh, rare. Definitely going to be doing those soon. Focused observational might be a bit of a pain at this point. Test decoupler at the launch site. Mm -hmm. I think we can handle that. Test heat shield in flight. Haul swivel liquid fuel engine into an escape trajectory out of Kerbin? As in out of the Kerbin system? Uh, no, no, I think, I think that'll be sitting in our mission log for ages. Let's, let's not request that. Veldak, good to see you again. Uh, again? Oh, random music again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. With warm greetings, he sets the tone. A friendly stream, a second home. May joy and comfort fill the air as tea hacks and viewers gather there. That is wholesome. Thank you, Veldak. Written by Chad G T G P T. Nice. Are we live? Seems good, indeed. Yeah, I don't know why the music's popping on and off at random. Um, what are our groups going to be here? Stages. We want launch, we want drew shoots, and we want parachute. Seems good. Where does it tell us which Kerbal is going to be in? Here it is, crew. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Is this thing even pointed straight up? I think it is. Yeah. 
I think I had a mod that would let me move the nav ball around. I, I saw an option in the settings here to reset the nav ball position, but... Yeah, reset nav ball position. Does vanilla let you move it around? How do I move it around? Nav ball position left right... Okay, so I can't do it with like shift, click and drag or anything. I think I prefer it in the middle, for now. Okay, so... Have parachute, curb and flying, at speed, at altitude. Or flee, solid boot, we don't have one of those. Hide that for now. Test hammer at launch site. I forgot to test the TD-12 decoupler at launch site. We can do it in, with another mission. And the heat shield, I forgot to slap onto this thing. It's fine. What? What? Uh, okay. Try again. Uh, what, is there no fuel or something? I'm concerned. We seem to have activated our chutes. Should I... Repair? Toggle failure highlight? Is it these fins? Part is new. Don't tell me I've got a mod that causes random failures. Why would one of the mods recommended by CCAN when I'm installing Ferrum Aerospace cause random failures? I... Trash part. Repair. What? I... Activate engine. No. No? What happened? Realism. Yeah, how about no? Where do I find the mod options? Um... What's this? ASPedia. This is firm aerospace. Aero failures cause explosions. Spooky. I don't think that's the kind of failure we're dealing with here, though. Um. Okay. How about? Can I cl can I close this, please? There we go. Uh, how about back to the main menu, I guess? Maybe I have to change it there. Your staging has shoot with fuel at the same time. Yeah, it didn't before. And it wouldn't have stopped the engine from working. Where? What is... Here we go, settings. I don't see any place where there would be mod settings. It's not part of the vanilla game, is it? Scenery, rendering, that's all graphics. Audio. Uh, I definitely set music to zero. Is it under ambience or something? Bruh. Sound normalizer. Some explanations of how these work would be good. Input. 
staging. What is switch translation slash rotation? And why would I want something bound to the same button as staging? Okay. Well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do about random part failures. That seems very fun and interactive. How do I load the game? Is it back this way? Uh, oh, here we go. Add-ons and mods. Oh, cool. Yeah, I love it when... I love it when clicking something like this just sends you to a web page. That's classy. Uh, start game, especially with no warning. Resume saved. There we go. Uh, for chaos. Maybe it's in here somewhere. Settings? Audio, video graphics, gameplay... I don't see it in gameplay. Is that the firm Aerospace Research? Uh, from spacedoc.info? It's listed as outdated there. Uh, it's Ferrum Aerospace Continued or something. Um, I got it through, ca uh, through CCAN. I only just installed it. It wouldn't let me install the old one. Okay. Um, I guess let's try again. If the exact same part, uh, if the exact same craft does something different, yeah, that's that's good. Music that we switched off, good, perfect. Oh, you can just switch between those two. That's nice. Um, did I not? Here we go. Untitled spacecraft. That, that's our craft. Alright, let's try this again. Once again, I'm putting the Druge shoots uh, here. Thrust, Druge shoots, regular shoot. Simple as that. Oh, and let's slap in that decoupler that we're supposed to test while we're here. Oh, this decoupler. I thought it was the side one. Boop a doop. Indeed. If I just slab it down here, can we can we do it that way? Sounds dangerous. Let's do it. Maybe I should slap a Kerbal Engineer part on there while I'm at it. Okay, so we got our staging. Decouple, launch, reshoots, regular shoot. And it's shaking. Why is it shaking just sitting on the launch pad? What? It, it's rotating. Okay. Um. Why is KSP like this? I could have sworn I remembered it being a lot more reliable than this. It's just exciting. <laughs> Look at this. The freaking directional ball is jumping all over the place. Decoupler's first stage? Yeah. See, we got our, our test done. Contract complete. 
Test at the launch site. Oh, that one did get done earlier. And then... Test RT Hammer at launch site. Test... Uh, launch our first vessel. Achieve goal, launch our first vessel. Why do I have to... Oh, this is the trash button. Okay. Okay. Good. Fantastic. O oh, scrap. Untitled spacecraft suffered a reaction wheel failure. Why? Contract complete. Hammer suffered ignition failure. I'm never ever going to build a complex craft if parts are just going to randomly not work. H how am I going to go interplanetary with this? What? Uh, test complete. We got some good data here. Fantastic. Solid fuel suffered an ignition failure. Well, let's try this one more time. Failed to ignite again. I'm just gonna... I can't... I can't even recover vessel because it's technically moving. We're gonna have to wait until it shimmies off to the side. Probably? It's busting with excitement. Um, maybe I can use the reaction wheels to tip it over? Or at least make it go a little bit faster? Turn SAS on? Um, I don't think... That's gonna... I mean, that's just gonna spend reaction wheel energy... Oh, there's monoprop in here, apparently. Huh, since when? Well, not that there's monoprop in here, but it's being used by something, is what's weird. Or at least different from when I played KSP. Um... Maybe if I get Jebediah out, recover the Jebediah vessel, and then recover this vessel remotely. Oh, here we go. We did it. I'm going to have a look at Seacan real quick. Um, what do we have installed? Astrogator. Light. As is light. Stefan, welcome in. Armin's Craze, welcome also. Budgie Gun, welcome in. Oh, misspeaking. Budgie Bum, welcome in also. Uh, we got Astrogator, Ferrum Aerospace Research Continued, Kerbal Engineer Redux, KOS Astrogator, KOS Kerbal Engineer, KOS Scriptable Autopilot System, ASP Burst. Which has something to do with aer Ferrum Aerospace. I had to pick one or the other. Uh, it's supposed to improve multi-threaded performance. Modular flight integrator? Modularly integrate your flight models. Thank you for the clarification. Module manager? Oh, scrap. Part failures, parachutes, engines, gimbals, resources, revenues. Use using scrapyard for Kerbal Space Broker. Why would I? Why would I want that? Okay, uh, I think I need a restart. We need to turn this off. First things first. Uh, let me just save real quick. And quit. Sounds good. You'd think that at least be some configuration for it, or like 
parts could break for reasons, not just at random. Okay, let's turn that one off. Apply changes. Hopefully it doesn't do the stuck at 99% thing. Delete checked. There we go. And launch game. Launch game. I can see... Oh, here we go. Might be config options. Yeah, not that I could see. Probably have to dig into a text file or something. Was that a KSP minority report reference? Oh. And then? Forgot the kappa? Alright, we're back. Fantastic. Uh, let's resume. All chaos. Fantastic. And we got some more missions. Test Thumper Solid Booster in flight over Kerman. Uh, Kerbin. 18,000 meters to 25,000. Well, we'll do it soon in any case. Test heat shield splashed down. Easy enough. Pull swivel into escape orbit tra escape trajectory out of Kerbin. No thanks. No space trash. Alright. Uh, let's jump into the VAB. And figure out what... Good. Music that I switched off. Yes. Perfect. Why, why are you not... Why are you... There we go. Alright. What should I try and do in one flight? Test heat shield in flight over Kerbin. Test heat shield splashed down. How high do we have to go? 34,000. Speed... Kinda high. Uh, well, that part might be trickier. Yeah, we could just go up and down a bit faster. And hope the Druge shoots can save us. Test Thumper Solid Fuel Booster in flight. Seriously, what is with the audio though? Settings. Music. Zero. What? What is your idea of music? Do I have to turn off ambience or something? Audio is fine. Make it 100. Um, KSP 1 failed, so let's make KSP 2 and make it even worse. I don't know, man. I could have sworn it wasn't anything like this bad back when I played it. Test heat shield. Um, bumper solid fuel in orbit. I'm not going to do that yet. All flee into 2000. Well, let's just try the parachute and the heat shields. 
that's a decoupler. Whoops, whoops. Uh, wherefore art heat shield? This is not. This is not it. Heat shield. Thermal. There we go. Are they both the 1.25 meter heat shield? I believe so. Nope. Not even. How big is this one? I get. I guess we can put it on the nose. And then the 1.25 meter back here. Good thing we won't actually need the heat shield for this one. And then we need a launcher. Thumper. That is a big one. I haven't unlocked this yet. We'll lose access to it as soon as, uh, as soon as I complete the contract that uses it. You know what? Let's just do this and see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? We're going to need some fins. We still only have the basic fins, so... I think I'd better put a few of them here to make sure... that we don't flip over. So we're going to boost, we're going to decouple, we're going to parachute. That should be it. And we're going to try to get these three missions done in one go. But probably hilarity will ensue. Okay. So the ocean is to our right. To the east. And we need to watch out for... Three to ten thousand meters below two hundred meters per second for the parachute. If we're lucky, I doubt it with this one. Uh, I don't know if I can test this thing. I think you can like right-click test, and even if it's already staged, we can do it that way. So maybe we can get this one done. Test heat shield splash down. We don't need to react quickly for that. Test heat shield in flight, 34,000 to 45,000 meters. All right. We need to keep an eye out at 18 to 25,000 just in case, and then after 34,000. And a go. Tilt ever so slightly to the right. What's our speed? 200 meters per second. How much fuel do we have left? Oh, that's a, that's a bit. Um, we're at 4k only, still. We're halfway through our fuel, but we're up to 600 meters a second. And more of this might be doable than I thought. We're way too high for the parachute. Why does this keep opening up while I'm trying to... Uh-oh. What blew up? I think some fins? No? Are we good? What's our apoapsis? Oh. Oh. Um, that, that, that's a little higher than I had in mind. That might be... 80... To a hundred thousand? Yeah, that might be a little bit much. Thumper solid fuel booster. That's this thing. I need to be 18 to 25,000 meters and only going less than 360 meters per second. I think... I think we can tweak, um... How fast it thrusts. You can't turn a solid rocket booster on and off, but we can we can change the rate it consumes fuel. 
which will make it a lot easier to hit these targets. Uh, heat shield and flight. We've got a lot more room for for error here with the speed. Once we drop below 46k, I need to run test here. Um, I think it's too dangerous to try and test the thumper on the way back down, though, so let's... Let's decouple. Ooh, and let's get some science. We can't EVA, though. We could do a crew report. Oh no, I didn't leave the science things on here. Well, a crew report is not nothing. I guess. How much time have you put into KSP? Uh, quite a lot, actually. Quite a lot. Alright, so we're on rails, right? How do I focus it back this way? Double-click carbon focuses carbon, but double-click double -click the spacecraft doesn't focus the spacecraft. Hmm... I, I mean, I guess I can go back to the uh, the tracking station. Backspace resets camera to active ship. Okay. Tracking station. Use untitled spacecraft as reference. Huh. So if I go map, double click this, backspace, uh, it does not. It's fine. What is this? Oh, the island airfield is marked. That's nice. All right. Oh, I think we're now technically high above uh, Kerbin. Space near Kerbin. Nope. What's our apoapsis going to be? Oh, we're already there. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. Alright, let's uh, speed up time. Is it shift plus? No. What are the keys for speeding up and slowing down time? Still 93k. It should pop back down to normal speed as soon as we hit the atmosphere. Yep, there we go. V to change camera? Whoa! <laughs> what? Okay. I wasn't expecting that, actually. What? It's a... Nope. No, no thanks. I feel like the game is... How do I switch it back to a normal camera? Auto, is that it? Okay. Where are the contracts I had highlighted? Okay, Mark 16 parachute. I don't think we're getting that. I don't think we're getting down to 2000, uh, 200 meters per second before we're below 300. Uh, heat shield. Here we go. I missed it already? That was so fast. God damn it. I probably was between 1700 and 2200 meters at these altitudes at some point there. Well, that one's not happening. Can we at least get the splash down? Oh, wait, where'd you fall? Uh, do I test it now? No? It's just hole. Is it complete? Does that mean mission accomplished, or am I missing something? It doesn't say test. Did, did we do it? Also, when can I deploy this thing? Staging wasn't... Oh, I forgot I changed the key. 
like we're going to be okay this time. Fantastic. Speed that up. Do not leave this running when they go into the water. Or at least that's how it used to be. Look at those glorious two polygons for the island. Splashed down. Baby heat shield. Let's go. Uh, are we good? Run test. Fantastic. Contract parameter complete. Escape the atmosphere. We did it by accident. Uh, Command pod has suffered a monopropellant leak. I hope that was from before I uninstalled the mod. I guess that was why the monoprop was coming out. It wasn't actually doing anything. What's it like up there? We hope it's fun because you're coming back very soon. Uh-oh. Hole complete. Fantastic. Test complete. Okay. We've got... Why does it still have this up here? Is, is that going to get removed? I hope so. All right, recover vessel. Square, uh, pointy brackets and slash to one times. Okay, cool. Thank you. Um, Adil, don't. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What can we unlock? We've got fifty points. I could unlock the science junior, which will obviously pay for itself. Ooh, radiator panel. Stay put, Nick. It's probably a good idea. Especially since we can't even EVA. Uh, I th think I should... What is this? That's the thumper that we've temporarily got access to. I think I should grab the science junior. Even if it costs us all of our science right now. Aha. Uh -huh. uh -huh. I wish you could see where these coordinates were. Bobak's obsession. Because sometimes they're easy and sometimes they're halfway around the map. Or the planet. Ferry a VIP mm -hmm. safely to her destinations and back. What's the itinerary? Suborbital spaceflight. We literally just did that. I could just use the exact same craft. I think the VIP can't do any piloting stuff, though. Not sure if an upgrade is needed, but tracking station shows icons for available contracts. Oh, cool. Good, good, good. Yeah, I think I kind of remember that now. Can I upgrade it? 150 grand. That's like almost half our money. Orbits visible in map? Hmm. Tracking station upgrade required for flight planning. Max parts supported 30. That's like almost all of our money. Uh, max active strategies. Never bother with that stuff. Research science limit. Nope. All right, let's uh, slap a craft together. For the science. Where is the science? And 
that's pretty much it. What's this? Equipment storage unit. Why is it under science? It's literally just a place to put stuff. Okay. Let's drop this thing on the launch pad. Make sure we've ticked all these boxes. Already into diminishing returns there. No surprise to anyone. Open doors. Oh, conduct. The material shows little signs of change. It appears, to, one of the samples appears to be judging you silently. Perfect. Uh, log temp. We already got this one. Uh, and same for this one. Pre report. Yep, okay. Recover. And then we're going to do the same thing again, but chuck it into the. onto the landing pad. Please go to the space plane hangar. Uh, space plane hangar. Bruh. Can I not just take the same craft? I can. What? Okay. Launch. And go. Cheese it. Give me that cheesy science. Every last scrap of it. Crew report. EVA. EVA report. Store experiments. Uh, and I guess... Whoops. EVA report. Can I put it in here? For a second there, I thought he could climb it. No, I don't think so. And that means I don't have a way to take two reports from here. Wait, I think I think this one would still count as... I think this one would still count as flying above the shores. Yeah, it does, so we don't need it. EVA report from the runway. Fantastic. All right, I guess recover the Kerbal. And if I recall, there's like, uh, like 20 different places to drive around to at the Kerbal Space Center to get different locations for science. Whoops, I meant to recover that. Each building is a biome? Yeah, it's a little silly. Okay, we have 34 science. Uh, we can get some slightly bigger wings, nose cone, and a radial decoupler. That's for 18. This is 20, so we can't get them both. We can't even afford this one. Uh, general rocketry? Liquid fuel engine. That is actually what we need. A throttleable engine. So we can get some of these contracts done. Alright, what do we got? Have flea solid fuel booster. Just just have it. Flying at altitude fourteen thousand or so, below three twenty meters per second. Okay. What if I take? 
The back is really big. Like, really big. Test heat shield, pretty high up. And going fast. Hmm. I could probably just use the BACC like I did. Jettison it, fly back down, and make sure I hit the test at the right time. I wonder if we could put a useless flea right here. Don't even put fuel in it. And then put a heat shield. Uh, you know what? I should probably put the heat shield on this side. And just jettison it. No, it's probably too greedy to try to do both at once. Let's see what other contracts we've got. Swivel liquid fuel engine into escape trajectory. No. Bad. Radial decoupler orbiting carbon? But I don't want to make space trash. No Kessler syndrome. Maybe now that we've got the liquid swivel engine, the focused observational surveys, uh, some of them are not going to be that hard. Let's see. Oh, they're actually pretty close. Uh, it'd be nice if I could get a better angle to look at these, but they're all mostly fairly low altitude. Below 19.2, above 18.2, below 19, above 19. Okay, this one's like almost directly above the space center. What the? Okay. Kerbal scientists? Oh wait, you wanted to be able to stop going faster? <laughs> Indeed. Uh, let's go for... where's the utility? Parachute, engine, uh, actually fuel tank. This is the biggest variable fuel tank we've got. Let's have a couple. And we'll give it the only engine there's actually two of them we've got with a, a that'll consume liquid fuel with oxidizer. This one's technically more efficient, but the swivel will give us more control, and we literally only have the most basic fins, and Ferrum Aries base scares me. So let's do this. I guess if we try to recover all of this, I should probably put more parachutes on it. Especially the druge chutes, because I doubt we're going to be able to... Trigger the regular shoots um, first. Let's see. Those should be grouped. Oh, well, they are grouped, but like separate entities. And this guy goes way up here. Engine. Uh, Daru shoots and big shoots. Cool, cool, cool. Let's give that a try. And probably aim for the one that's slightly to the north first. Oh, look at it balancing. That seems safe. 
Okay, so our target is pretty much straight north, below 19.2 kilometers. If I'm... I don't think I have enough fuel for it, but I could attempt to go for this one as well. Oh, let's find out. Can I, like, target it or something? Yeah, I can. Activate navigation. Okay. And go. Oh, crap. That is more swivelly than I thought it would be. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, SAS? T. There we go. How high are we? 5k? Oh, this is going faster than expected. Oh, we're already out of fuel? Uh, speaking of faster than expected, we might get close enough to this thing uh, to trigger it. How do we, um, how do we, like, declare that we got there? Do I have to do, I, I, crap, I can't remember. Crew report. Right? I don't think we're gonna... I think we missed. I think... I think we probably missed. Oh, we got it. Fantastic. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, if I can do it already, let's activate the drew shoots. Fantastic. There was a message at the top, indeed. Beautiful. And we're going to need some more oomph if we're going to go get above Bobak's obsession. Uh, Turban's tranquility should be easy enough with the same vessel, and once again we're going to have to go higher for Halson's hindsight. Should be able to just stage these as well. Oops. I thought they wouldn't come out until we're going slower. Oh well, there's no kill like overkill. Actually, I can probably configure these to not come out until we're closer to the ground. Since we're already pretty safe. Alright, speed up. Uh, that spooked me. It's like 400 meters early. I'm guessing that's the height above sea level that this ground is at. Need at least three more parachutes? No, I think we're good. What, 4.5 meters per second? That's going to be a bit of an oomph, but, but the, we can take it. It's fine. Oh, I should, I should have tried to control which way it rolled over because now the, now Jebediah can't get out. Um, I was going to do some more science. Whoops. It's fine. It does not have landing gear. We don't have the technology for landing gear. Alright, uh, we've got a whopping 18... We can get stability, but that still doesn't mean landing gear. I can get some bigger fins. I think I should definitely give it more fuel this time. Although, the amount that we've got should be more than enough for where we're going this time. 
Uh, aerodynamics. Winglet. Beautiful. That should be more than enough. Looks like a dart. And let's go do more or less the same thing. Okay, so our target is below Kerbin's Tranquility, and I seriously doubt it, but if we have the fuel, we'll head for above uh, Halson's Hindsight. Probably should have oriented this thing before launching. Probably. We are 60% on our fuel already. Let's see how that looks. That should probably make it, but I think we should go a bit higher. And then cut it off. I said cut it off. And I think I think that should be just fine. How much fuel do we have left? Like 30%. Some actual wings would be good for going over here. Almost there. And start spamming crew report. Did we get it? Fantastic. Doesn't it like flash somewhere and tell you that you're at the location? Now that I think of it. There we go. And what? Oh, what were the keys? There we go. One in using physics vest, uh, physics warp. Yes, we know. Thank you. Fantastic. Just somewhere middle ish of the screen, it says entering blah blah area. Yes. I don't know if it'll do it if we're on the map screen or not. Okay, that's pretty slow. Actually, it's still 5.1 meters a second. Isn't it only like 7 or 8 meters a second that parts start blowing up if they drop into the water? Uh huh. It looks like the water is still more dangerous than the land. Okay. Crew report. Oh, wait. I think there's a trick to this. You take away... You take the data. And then you get back in. And then you do the crew report. And... EVA report. From Kerbin's water. Fantastic. All right, back we go. Usually 10 plus depending on the part. 
Yeah, very much depending on the part. All right, we got nine signs. We've got some parts over here to recover. And we probably have more oh, missions. Man. I guess I could test the decoupler in a way where the scrap will find its way back down to carbon. But only if we simulate the atmosphere with it. Oh, can't you just, like, delete uh, junk that's not got any uh, pilots or anything? If I remember correctly. Oh, that is a high altitude orbit. I don't want to commit to that yet. Twelve or thirteen thousand meters. Speed very slow. Mark 12 R radial mount druge shoot. The thing we've been using. Okay. So I just need to make sure that's where my apoapsis is. Suborbital space flight. And safely back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Both of these are suborbital. TD-12 decoupler. That's rather high up. In fact, that's almost in space. Alright. Um, well, we could do that, oh, I think. Yeah. Oh, I didn't check what we could unlock yet. Need to remember to slap a Kerbal Engineer thing on this next time. We have only nine science. We can't do anything with that. Okay. I want to unlock planes. Now then, uh, where is it? I think it's under control... stuff? Here it is. Science, actually. Kerbal Engineering System. I think there's a setting for the mod somewhere that you'd don't have to include these parts, um, but they are weightless. Whenever it says 0. 0.005 tons in this game, it weighs literally nothing. And if you're so inclined, I suppose you can slap it like under here or somewhere. I imagine it's going to have some kind of UPS impact though, albeit minuscule. Let's take some science stuff. And how about one of these? Okay, what's our target? Whole flea. You know what? Let me try and do this one as well. I'll put that useless flea that I was talking about earlier on this thing. We're not going to decouple it. And I, I will not be landing on the ocean because the ocean is still more dangerous to land on than the land is. I could maybe put parachutes at both ends, that way the tail won't get um, slapped into the ground. Okay. In that case, let me put this thing on this side.
So what's our target? Have flee at 14 to 2200 meters, a uh, thousand meters at slow-ish speed. Uh, decoupler really high up, not going to happen this time. We don't have a back. Radial mount, radial mount drew shoot. That's this one, right? Yes. Let's only haul it. Altitude 11,000 to 14,000. Speed slow. Flea is 11,000 to 14,000. So if we're slowing down near 14,000, uh, well, this one's really slow. I don't think we can get both of those in one arc without changing speed. We'd need to speed up again once the once the condition is met for the Druze shoot. That might be doable. And test heat shield. Flying high very fast. That's for an aggressive re uh, re-entry. Parachutes on both ends doesn't end well if your center of gravity is topside. Uh, we're not going to open all the parachutes at the same time. Alright, let's give this a try. Engine, Drew shoots, uh, we're never ever using this engine. Main parachutes. Seems good. It's probably too greedy to try and do that other contract at the same time as well. Even if it were physically possible, it might be a few too many balls to juggle. Yeah, it probably is. 19.1k. No, we're trying to like slow down and then speed up at 14,000, right? I wish I could, like, rearrange these so we could actually see what we're trying to do. Okay, so it's these two. Please don't pop everything out as soon as I start moving. Yeah, like that. How fast are we? 130 so far. Uh, and Kerbal Engineer tells me our apoapsis is 5k. We probably want it to be like 15k or so. No, if if we set our ap apoapsis to 14k and then stop. And could you not open all of these up every time our speed changes? That's incredibly unhelpful. We want to be going 40 to 120. After all, we're at 11,000. I think we got this. Test. Oh, that's the thumper. Here we go. Haul. Hey, we got it. Speed up. Okay, so our target is... We got that one as well. Fantastic. What's our apo? 17k. How much fuel do we have left? Not much. We're not getting over here. That's not happening. Let's, um, let's make sure we don't land in the water. That seems like a good idea. This is way more thrust than we need. Actually, not that much more. Okay. I'm going to arm the Druj shoots. Where are the Druj shoots? Deploy, deploy, and they're going to open themselves as soon as it's safe. How do I edit where this is? Apoapsis height, float. 
add it. How do I decide where this thing is? Apoapsis height. HUD? I can just move this around. Background? No. How do I... How do I find and edit this thing? Right-click the Kerbal Engineer button on the right. This one? Wait. Let me just close this first. Oh, here we go. No? Control bar? HUD 1, HUD 2. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Good, good, good. Fantastic. We'll definitely be playing with that. This is probably fine for now. Oh, there we go. Uh-oh, we got stuff to pay attention to. Our Drew shoots are open. Fantastic. Deploy. Deploy. Should be just fine. Whoa. It was a little more aggressive than I was expecting. Also, it's not... Uh... Hmm. Okay. How do I close this? Close editor. Yeah, that is... Definitely not what I was expecting. All the parachutes. That's flipped it over again. Oh, that parachute is bigger. You would think, if anything, that would have the front facing up again? Whatever, we're only moving at four meters per second. That'll be super fine. Beautifully rendered parachute physics. Much realism. But yeah, we got like 250 seconds to reach the ground. Good opportunity to play with this. Alright, uh, where is HUD 2? Oh, it's here where we can't see anything. That doesn't work so well for me. How about over here? Apoapsis, time to apoapsis, periapsis, time to periapsis. I kind of want to move that around a little bit. Like that. Delta V, sure. Hard to... Whoa! That scared me. Uh-oh. Okay, it's fine. We're fine. And once again, we can't get out of the crew hatch. I'm sure it's okay. Let me just close this thing. I said, let me just close this thing. I said, let me just close this thing. No, no. Right click, left click, nothing. Okay, there we go. Crew report. Three birds with one stone. What location is this? The highlands? It is the grasslands. All right, let's go. Recover vessel. Fourteen science. We still get ninety-seven percent of our funds back for that. The intact parts. Uh -huh. All 
We're not doing escape trajectory. Test LV-909 orbiting Kerbin. 150 to 160,000 meters. That's fairly specific. I think you can right-click test, even if it says to perform the test, activate the part through staging. I could be wrong. It does make it a lot more difficult if it has to be done by staging. Hmm. Is it about time to start writing a launch program? Uh -huh. What kind of engines do we have right now? Radiant Swivel and some SRBs. We've got the side decouplers, right? If only temporarily. No, we've, we've just straight up got them. We should be able to go into orbit. fuel tanks. How about pods? We've only got the regular command pod, right? That doesn't really help with the whole tourists thing. Technically we can put them in sequence, but it's probably not a great idea. Especially since aerodynamics actually matters with Ferrum. Which engine was it? Um, we'll try and knock off the BACC while we're at it. Whole TD-12 decoupler. Well, we're going to want one of those anyway, right? Maybe. Just have it be flying between these speeds at this height. That'll probably happen by accident. Take pressure readings. No, I didn't know it was pressure readings for that one. We wouldn't have got it anyway. And... Did I not take that other mission? Focused observation. TD-12 decoupler. BACC. Yeah, no, I didn't um, grab that mission yet. Right click the. Yes, yes. Mission control. No escape trajectory. Test LV 909 Terrier. Very well. Terrier. Oh, this is the one that we didn't have. I don't remember this engine. Half a ton. Is this a reskin of the one that's efficient because it's light, but on paper it's not efficient at all? Yeah, I think it might be. Okay. That's our Terrier. That'll be for finishing our ascent into orbit, and hopefully we can just press the test button. Um... I was thinking of using some side decouplers. 
It might be a bit much to have to have it this tall. Can we maybe slide this down here though? I need an excuse for the TD12 decoupler though. Hmm. You could literally just put like a nose cone on these things. No, we have to be in orbit, don't we? Nope. 64 to 69k. Speed up to 1600. No, I think we can just put it here. And the thumper... I need to press the test button... before we're at 25,000. And we're gonna set the thrust limiter on this to like... I don't know, 25%? Since we've got two of them. Should have more than a, enough thrust for the first part. Test heat shield 1.25 meter flight. Oops. Where did I... Oh, I'm just moving the whole thing. Hmm... I think we can do it that way. Maybe add another decoupler. So that we can actually be sure of coming back in one piece. Wait, when do we test this? On the way back down might work. 1700 to 2200 meters per second. That's fast. Gotta watch out for the aerodynamics. That's right. What the... Why are you like this? What, what the hell? Do I just have to hope that that's enough? Okay, that'll probably do. All right, let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? 18 tons? Bruh. Raft is too friggin' heavy. Where's a where's a frailer? 225k to upgrade this. Max parts 30. I think we have to upgrade the launch pad. It's 50 grand. That's a bit better. Okay. So, launch. Terry is best for low grav situations, indeed. Yeah, if you look at the, uh, like the fuel efficiency of it, uh, it looks like it's not as good, but if you're building a small craft, the weight difference actually make more than makes up the difference. All right, staging, definitely not that, please. Um, I'm gonna have to redo this whole thing. We do want these two at first. We probably 
almost never want to decouple that. I said we probably almost never want to decouple that. Start with these two, and then decouple them. Uh, I, I might just manually decouple this one. That's how I have to test it, right? No, it's literally just flying. Which means because I've got this one up here, that one's superfluous. It'll probably just cause problems. Oops. How much science do we have? 14. Okay. Get rid of this stupid thing. Check your staging. And how do I how do I add more staging? What just happened? What what is this? No, stop it. It gives more information. I wonder if it would let us recombine them when they get split randomly. Oh hey, it tells us the delta V of each stage now. That's good. Plus. It's only 96 meters per, per second from all of this. It's kind of weird. Drew shoot, parachute. Oh, okay. So big uh, solid rocket boosters, get rid of them. Little baby engine, decouple everything. Drew shoots, parachute. Cool. Sense making. Let's see how it goes. And... Go. Uh-oh. I may have set the thrust a little too low. On these. It's entirely possible. I may have added a little more mass than I thought. I guess we're just gonna sit here and burn off this fuel. Altitude, vertical speed, horizontal speed, biome, situation. Sure. Maneuver node? New custom section HUD. Available. What is post burn period? Time to maneuver node, time to maneuver burn. Maneuver node burn time. Seems good. Maneuver node angle to prograde. Uh, where are we putting this thing? Wherefore art thou custom one? Is that really how you spell maneuver? Mano -yubre. Oh, what the? Oh crap! Oh crap! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Um, how much fuel do we have left in the solids? Not a whole lot. Uh, let's maybe... Let's maybe stage them. 
And then... That went worse than expected. You win this round, solid rocket boosters. <laughs> Perfect landing. Uh-huh. Petri Cottontail. <laughs> Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, poor Jebediah. He'll be back. You have not seen the last of Willy. How do I even get out of this now? Flight results. Lift off. Fantastic. Space Center. Uh, so I guess we don't have Jebediah for like 10 minutes. I think all the main cast are immortal, right? Like they'll, they'll find their way back. Do it again. <laughs> Nagaskin, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. So what's the crash to flight ratio been so far? That was the first crash. We we are very good at this game, don't worry. Let's try fifty percent thrust this time. And go. Just happened to load the stream at the perfect time then, indeed. Alright, what are our contracts we're trying to do again? Have decoupler flying like that. Test BACC after 18,000 meters. Heat shield even higher and faster. Okay, so launch, test back, test heat shield. We don't have to worry so much about the decoupler. I think that one's just going to happen. And Terrier is... we have to be in orbit first. I may have set the thrust a little too low again. Uh-oh. 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 Um... Can we stay facing up? No? Okay, then. In that case. What? Please let me right-click it. Deploy. There we go. No, no, let me right click the parachute. The parachute, I said. Okay. Okay. This time, you're hitting me. Really? Even though there was a chute already deployed. And we were only, like, a couple of hundred meters up. I see how it is. I see how it is. Perfect flight twice in a row. I, I, I staged everything. I don't see why the rest of the parachutes didn't come out. We weren't moving fast. Definitely needs more thrust, though. Maybe with this kind of mass, it should just have maximum thrust. No, as soon as we get up to speed, it's going to be a problem. Okay. Bill. Get it right. Oh, it looks a lot better. I 
Let's sell Apo. It's only 5k so far. We want to be 18... Oh, come on. 18,000... And... We're too fast. Uh, 18,000 to 25,000. Only 360 meters. I don't think we're going to get the back test done this time. Let's just stage them away. And do it. Do a little flip, I get. Oh, crap. Holy. Really? Oh, my God. No. No, thank you. Um. I don't think we have a swivel on this or anything. It's All we've got is the reaction wheels. To try and to try and slow down our rotation. There we go. I don't think we're getting to orbit with this, though. I just have this hunch. It would help if we had a pilot to hold the... hold the ship steady. I think... I think we are needing to go a lot higher still. 42k apoapsis. That is not going up very fast. What's our horizontal speed? Almost 700 meters a second. I think we're going to run out of fuel before we... before we get particularly high. Great save, thank you. I don't know if we're going to get any... Uh... Oh, we can at least get the TD-12 to couple one done, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's like almost a guarantee. We only need to go 64k apoapsis. Obviously, losing a lot of in a lot of efficiency by not thrusting straight here. How high do I need to go for the one hundred and fifty to one hundred and sixty? I don't think that's happening. I mean, we're not getting into orbit but I don't think we're getting into orbit at 150 to 160. Then again, maybe if... Nah, I don't know. I don't think so. Still got plenty of electrical charge. So we got this one done, right? Yes. That, at least, is something. Should probably start thrusting if we were to have any hope. Let's see how close we can get. This looks more like SE than SE. <laughs> Indeed. I actually need to unlock the tech to use Kerbal operating system still. Well, we may yet get into orbit. Let's 
got to watch I don't get stuck in orbit. Almost there. That's it. That is a actually really big wonky orbit. Which means if we can right click test this thing even though we already staged it. Uh, once we are at 150,000 meters, we can get this one done. I wish the Milky Way looked like that in the night sky. Like, like this? Okay. I can honestly say I didn't expect that to be our first orbit. We've also barely got enough fuel to... Well, if I do it from up here, I'm sure we've got way more than enough fuel to deorbit. But it's kind of close. Would have been really easy with the same craft if I had the autopilot to, um, to execute it properly. Oh, we're here, we're here. Uh, test. Run test. Fantastic. That's it. I see you added a cam, you look handsome. <laughs> Thank you. Actually, a Kerbal would... Uh, a Kerbal would be a VTube that I'd like to see. If it was executed well. Alright, toggle... I mean, log pressure data. 12 signs. Fantastic. Log temp. 8 signs. Crew report. Uh, zero, apparently. Maybe I should wait till we're higher in orbit. I don't know how high you have to be for it to count as high in orbit, but I think uh, 740k should be more than enough. But we can actually get more science that way. It counts as a different biome. Alright, and we want to go here to give our engines a little puff to bring us back down as well. All right, so speed up time carefully, because it's very easy to overshoot with the different time scales. Very, very easy indeed. And we should be more than high enough now to get high over uh, high over carbon. Fantastic. Log temperature. Twelve signs. Log pressure data. Because, of course, we would do that. The instrument reads zero, it's as if we were in a vacuum. Beautiful. Now we need to face prograde, which, I mean retrograde, which conveniently enough we are almost pointing that way already. And close enough to the top of our orbit. We're going to decrease our speed. And that's going to bring our periapsis down below the atmosphere. And we're going to use the atmosphere to slow down. We don't want to line it up so that we would actually crash into the, uh, into the planet ourselves. The Kerbin can, uh, the Kerbal can stay in space as long as he likes. We don't have to worry about him running out of food or something. Um, but I would half expect... 
if not for air resistance, we would go down to 55 kilometers altitude. Uh, I half expect that's not enough to slow down so that we don't come back into space. At least for one more lap. But I'd rather play it safe and not approach too aggressively. We do have a bit of fuel left to make an adjustment as well. In fact, we've got 123 meters per second of velocity change. I think your green dude is going a bit crazy in there. He's having a he's having a blast. Look at him. He's very happy. What's that button? Remove slot? That sounds dangerous. Oh yeah, something KSP2 doesn't have. Cockpit view. There's not a whole lot to see from the command capsule. I think I remember there were mods and or modded cockpit parts that actually gave you some decent... Uh, instruments and stuff, so you could actually fly a mission from inside the cockpit. Laundry? Snacks, board games, toothbrushes, food, not food, air, and parts, and more science. Fantastic. All right, let's go back down to the atmosphere. Oh, there it tells us. Now we're in space low. And once we do hit the atmosphere, it's going to go back to times one because we're... How do I get out of this? V. We're simulating physics again. Uh, I'm actually going to turn the ship so that we've got as much drag as possible. Right about there. And we're probably causing it to turn a little bit as well, but uh, obviously we don't have a whole lot of control surfaces to influence where we're going with this. You have drag at that altitude? Yeah, just not very much. Up to 70,000 is a little bit of atmosphere. And that's why it'll force you out of uh, on-rails... Time warp, as soon as you get down to 70,000. Oh, we're experiencing some turbulence. Um, yeah, we're... Now, Apoapsis is definitely going down a bit too slow for my liking. Can we still face retrograde and try and slow down a bit more? Oops. Oop, nope, nope. That's more what I was looking for. And we're out of fuel. But we won't be lapping the planet over and over again. We're definitely going to be brought back down. Probably in the ocean to the east of the Kerbal Space Center, even though we are going up right now. Um, but yeah, you do indeed have drag and lift at this altitude. Despite there being almost no gas, um, the speed that you're going when you're re-entering from orbit means with a space plane you can actually, with no engines, you can have quite a lot of influence over where you're going to land. Feels like you were at like one 
thousand kilometers? Um, well, we almost were. We were we were at seven hundred and sixty thousand kilometers back here. And we are now officially a tumbling satellite. <laughs> uh, what do we got? I don't think there's any more missions that we can... Oh, no, the heat shield. We might get the opportunity to test the heat shield. Less than 46,000 meters, less than 2,200 meters per second. Okay. And once I see... Well, I kind of want to see our apoapsis drop down before I get rid of the rest of the craft. Because, because I want that drag. I, I want to come back down to Kerbin sooner. I'm assuming that's Earth. Uh, it is called Kerbin. It is very much an Earth-like planet, but smaller. Everything's kind of scaled down a bit, unless you use a mod. I think Kerbin is like one quarter the size uh, the radius of Earth. Makes sense, indeed. And we're back in space, so we're not slowing down anymore. Alright, uh, let's do the time warp again. And once we get back down to 70k, it's going to... Drop us back into physics simulation again. Good thing I did slow us down as much as I did. Hey, we might even be able to land near the Kerbal Space Center at this rate. It could happen. I think, I imagine we're going to land in the desert to the west of the Kerbal Space Center. As we slow down here, our apoapsis is going to get dragged down before we get out of the atmosphere again. We can probably do a faster physics simulation this time, though. Four times as, as fast as we can go while we're in atmosphere. One forty five, one forty four, forty three, forty two, Our maximum height on our orbit is less than double that of getting out of the atmosphere now. I wonder if you can actually see these uh, communication places. Oh, 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 we might want to take off the... We might want to decouple now. And we want to test heat shield when we're down to 46,000. And hopefully still going more than 1,700 meters per second, which I think is going to happen. Yeah, I, th I think we probably got this. It's probably... It might even be a long window that we can do this. The aerodynamics will turn this thing around for the heat shield to face where we're going automatically, but we'll give it a little push. 
That's a thick atmosphere. Not as thick as it used to be. Uh, I think the vanilla atmosphere changed, but Ferrum Aerospace as well makes it a lot thinner. Um, or at least a lot thinner than vanilla used to be. It used to be like, uh, described as soup-like. Yeah, I don't see a building over there, but we're probably too far for it to decide to render. Alright, what's our speed? 23, 23. We need to drop 120 meters per second. By the time we're down to 46,000 meters. And it looks like we're not going up anymore. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, we're actually starting to go down now. Periapsis is dropping rather quickly. We're, I really don't think we're making it to the space center. It's about to drop through the ground over here. Oop. What's our actual altitude? 50k. Soon. Wait, we're getting faster. No, we're not. No, we're only 66 meters per second out. We can go down to 1700 for this to work. Now, drop a few thousand altitude before you drop 500 meters per second. Forty-nine? We're not losing speed very fast. I think this will be easy, actually. Forty-eight kilometers. Uh, let me guess. The ambience that I turned off earlier includes the heat shield noises. Don't tell me that's the same setting as the music from the vehicle bay. Just 600 meters more. And that's it. We did it. Didn't look like that was going to be a good launch, but it, we got it to work in the end. Midden, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I'm pretty sure I can tell these to deploy now, and they just will automatically when it's safe. But I'd rather not... Oh wow, my prediction was... Pretty much spot on, it looks like. We'll probably land in the water before we get to the desert here. Bill is su surprisingly okay with this. Uh, 
Let's see what it looks like from his point of view. Oh yeah, that seems safe. Especially with the altitude clock just dialing backward. 1500 meters per second. No problem. one k to the land. We're definitely landing in the ocean. Don't know how well you can see it with the with the compression filter, but we just crossed into the ocean with the predicted point for where we're landing, based on the moment to moment speed. And we can now deploy. May as well wait till we get a bit closer and slower. Do we still have Valentina to pilot, or did I... Was, was she... was she the second victim? Do we have lights on this thing? I don't think so. Oh, here we go. Lights on. That's not very helpful. Nine kilometers. Eight kilometers. Seven. I see the ocean. I also see the desert over there. Alright, that's far enough, I think. I should really look at the settings and not deploy these things quite so high up. Alright, physics warp. And extra parachute. Extra, extra parachute. Because why not? Do not physics warp through this part. And shploop. And shploop. Fantastic. Take data. EVA report. It's not a new biome. Get back in. Recover vessel. Cool, cool, cool. We got 82 signs from that. Nice. Bill Kerman, ready for next assignment. Uh, what have we got? We've only got Bill and Bob right now. Jebediah and Valentina, I believe, will find their way back. But I don't know how long it takes. Um, maybe I should hire a pilot. My lot. Richton Kerman. Origin stupidity stats. <laughs> Lovely. Tim Kerman 
is apparently an absolute legend. Do we actually have to, like, pay them or anything? Uh, is it just you're only allowed to... Oh, we do. Next hire, 52,000. Ouchie. Okay. Uh, what missions do we have now? I need another cockpit part before I start ferrying tourists. The VIP isn't able to pilot the ship, is it? I don't think. Tourist, 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 tourist. Bruh. Escape trajectory, orbiting carbon, escape trajectory. Which have we got active? Focused, focused, test the BACC. 18,000 to 25,000 meters. Speed 210 to 360. Let's try that. But we don't need this whole monstrosity to do it. Actually, a heat shield might not be the worst idea if this goes very wrong. Like it costs a lot of weight. Okay, so we, I just want to go a single BACC and can Kerbal Engineer give us the thrust to weight? Oh, it does. Fantastic. Give us like 1.2, which is going to get higher. as we burn our fuel. I don't have any actual control surfaces yet, which is a bit unfortunate, but the reaction wheels in the command cup part are still quite overpowered. So hopefully if we control it carefully, uh, we shouldn't have any real problems. Without thrust to weight readout, my spaceflight history would be pretty bleak. Yeah, I probably should have looked at it before. What, why does it say zero? Oh, bloody hell. You'd think... You'd think the game could figure out a default staging order that actually makes some sense. Okay. Um... Altitude 500. Altitude 250. Seems good. Thrust to weight 1.15. That's a little too low, I think. Let's go a bit over 1.2 and see how that goes. We will take a pilot. You can check TWR for each stage by clicking the empty space of each stage in the bottom right. Oh, that's new. All right, uh, portal doesn't matter. What's our target? 18,000 to 25,000, 210 meters per second to 360. So basically, I want my apoapsis around 25,000 or so. Uh-oh. Slow. Don't let it tip over or you're dead. Oh yeah, we got SAS for this guy because he's a pilot. 
Uh, I may have set the thrust a little too low. We might not be getting as high as I imagined. Get Zim. Pulse, pulse. We're trying to get Zim. Uh oh. I did want a slight turn, but it's looking a bit more aggressive than I had in mind. Okay, I think once we stop going up, it's time to abort. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> I can't get the front off the front of it. Um. Tim, we hardly knew ye. No. No. Not like this. Oh, 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 yes. Yes. Okay. It's fine. Fine. Everything's okay. Just as planned. I'm pretty sure we have this science already. Let's make sure. We did not have this science already. Ah. Alright. That that was a science excursion. That that went just fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, we have 90 signs in total. What can we do with it? Ooh, aviation. Nope. Nope. But we got aviation. We can make a plane now. Hell yes. Flight control. Winglet, delta wing. I'll probably take that. We can have even more reaction wheel power. Oh hey! Scriptable control system. We can actually start driving our rockets properly. All right, let's grab it. And we have 0.1 science left over. All right, but first... Let's learn our lesson from that last one. Let's give it a thrust to weight of like 1.5 at least. Probably more, more like 2 from the launch pad, right? Then again, I want to have some degree of control um, as we get higher. Let's try 1.7. What's the worst that could happen? Nothing bad, that's what. Alright. SAS on to begin with. And go. And depending on how quickly our apoapsis climbs, we might want to turn so that we don't go as high. So far we're going up to 4k. Eight K. Twelve thousand. Yeah, I think we should have turned a while ago, actually. Oh, crap. Oh, crap, I think. Oh, no. Our apoapsis is already too high. We're going too fast. I should have turned much sooner. I've got almost no control over this. Uh... We're going to space. At a very, very aggressive angle. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's a hundred thousand. Okay, how much can we slow down? Do you ask what's the worst that could happen? Of course. Uh, well, I'm, lo I'm losing a few hundred at least on the apoapsis height. Turning this thing side on. Let's 
spinning. I think... I think we're in space now. Yep. Love the friction heating on the way up, indeed. Uh, so I think I've killed Tim. I, I don't think we can slow down very much as we fall. I just didn't turn enough to begin with. It's, it's difficult to process that this is the exact same solid rocket booster that had us, like, fly a kilometer to the side and crash into the ocean. Hmm. I still think our best chance is probably to stick with the solid rocket booster and try and have it slow us down as it hits the atmosphere facing the wrong way bonus points decouple when we're pointing up so that little boost sends us upward Well, uh, may as well time warp now. Until we get to 70k, there's nothing we can do. We're gaining speed rather quickly. Not as quickly as if we weren't if we weren't being dragged by the atmosphere. But I don't think it's going to be enough. Nope, it's starting to fight me. Aerodynamics wants me to... wants it to point at prograde. I think I'd better eject now. Otherwise I'll get stuck. And we are losing speed... Pretty fast, but I don't think it's going to be enough. Oh, well, maybe? 800? 700? I think we're going to be okay. 500? 400? We're at 9,000 meters. 300 meters per second. We're going to make it. 200 meters per second. We're fine. Okay, then. You can't see it, but I activated the parachutes. Cool. Congratulations on surviving, Tim. I'm gonna get a drink of water. To Tim. Oh, that cliff looks safe. Yeah, definitely nothing bad gonna happen here. Don't worry. This is fine. We got the parachutes active still. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's... Uh, I actually kind of want him, want him to maintain this speed. Because I think if he slows down too much, the parachutes will cut automatically. Um... <laughs> of course, if we go too fast, we die. But... I, 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 <laughs> you buy him? Good point. Crew report. Go. <laughs> Yes, we got it. Uh, I don't think I did... Okay, okay, what just blew off? What did just blow off? I thought we already lost the heat shield. Can I get some more science? 
Oh, it was a science thing that we lost. That's fine. Uh, it's going to be very difficult to right-click this thermometer. Very... Ve oh, did I get it? Oh, I should have paid more attention. Come on. Give me that thermometer. Give me... Give it... Give me... No, it's not that responsive. Oh, no. I think he's going to live, though. Probably. Probably going to be fine. Now, give me that science report. You have one job. Actually, you're a pilot. You have a different job. Hey! Temperature scan from Kerbin's Mountains. Quite literally nominal. Fantastic. Alright, I'll just casually pour my drink while nothing bad happens. Safety ensues. I thought that maybe there would be a moment where I should use the reaction wheels, but I'm pretty sure if I did do that, or if I activated SAS, it might actually screw us over. We're almost there. Quite a high mountain, it is. And it's right near the Kerbal Space Program uh, Center on your approach back if you're coming back from orbit. I'm seeing green. I think we're slowing down. That actually scares me a bit. I don't want to slow down just enough for their parachutes to cut. I gotta be ready to, like, maybe activate SAS and or push the reaction wheels in a specific direction. I like the white line from the GUI to the rocket, yeah. I left it pointing at the thermometer so it's a bit clearer how it's spinning around in the dark. <laughs> oh, poor Tim. Look at that nav ball, he's, he's not having a good time. He looks very nonchalant, all things considered. We... Oh! Are we safe? We did it. That's it. Recover vessel. We did it! Seven signs. Fantastic. Alright, let's take the exact same spacecraft and do it properly this time. What's the worst that could happen? We've got to make sure that we point not straight up much sooner this time. Uh, and what's our target? 18,000 to 25,000. Speed up to 360. More than 210. Let's go north for a change. Well, there's a bunch of mountains up to the north, actually. Let's go south. 
and I'll start turning immediately. I want almost as much tilt as I can get without gravity forcing a turn. Oh, I may have overdone it already. Oh, no. I'm actually fighting this as hard as I can. Yeah, well, I don't think we're getting to 18k. We should run out of fuel before we start going down, at least. Well. We're not even reaching 7,000. Just let the wind slow us down first. Uh, I think I need to activate parachutes. Yeah. There we go. Maybe I should use a bit less thrust. I think I should use a bit less thrust. Oh wait, we have control surfaces now, not these uh, static fins. I need to be very careful I don't overdo it with the control surfaces. Um, but we should be able to... Oh my god, get rid of the BACC. No, please. Please stop. Please stop. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine, we had a whole 30 meters left. Okay. 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 This is fine. This is fine. Let's revise our design a little bit to something that would have gotten us out of that exact situation. Deluxe... Delta Deluxe Winglet? One of my favorites. Got some little control surfaces down the bottom. Alternatively, I could use something like this, where the whole... Th uh, almost the whole thing can swivel. That could get us out of control very, very quickly. Um, do I want to change any of the settings? Speed control. Oh, there we go. Pitch your roll. Uh, I mean, the Delta Deluxe has just a little control surface at the back of it, so I don't think it's going to overdo it, even if we just leave that as it is. Uh, and let's reduce the thr thrust a bit. We're currently at only 1.66, huh. Alright, let's go 1.5-ish. 1.5. Tumbling Satellite? Good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Did you shout me out a while ago? I did. When we became a literal tumbling satellite. Okay. Uh, our target is 18,000 to 25,000 meters at 210 to 360 meters per second. And this time we're going to tilt... An amount that does not send us into space or into the ground with no control. 
Also, we've got a lot more control with the control surfaces this time. Oh no, please don't tell me we're already tilting too much. Apparently I should have used the more aggr- Why am I not seeing... Is this thing off? Is it just static? Oh no. I'm not seeing anything from our control surfaces. Uh, I don't know, can the cockpit make us roll that quickly? It shouldn't be able to, we've got a lot of mass. Oh, this is even worse than before. Let's get out of here. Oh no. He created a very successful ICBM. <laughs> yes. I'm getting over my gastro, so that's good. That's nice. How are the flights going? Mixed results. Mixed results. I'm... I'm not entirely sure that... that we had any authority from the... From the little flaps at the end of the uh, Delta Deluxe wings. Because normally you can see those animate. Actually, you know, t just to save time, I'm going to revert. I want the exact same craft. We're not going to launch. And I'm going to... Pitch roll, etc. Settings. Uh, where was it? Reset nav ball. Here we go. Over to the side, please. Okay, so I'm looking at the, the little flappy things at the ends of these. I'm seeing... Oh, it's minuscule. It is moving, but it's so small. Can I change it from here? I don't think so. Oh, I can, actually. Flap slash spoiler deflect. Maximum. I, I still don't think it's going to be enough. I think we should revert to vehicle assembly. We'll use the other. Uh, the other control surface. The AVRA twinglet? think. These other ones are all static, right? Yeah, except for the Elevron. Philip B, good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Don't forget your spoiler deflect when you Google about shows you haven't watched through chat. Spoiler deflect. Didn't look like they were active. Yeah, they were barely active. I wish we could play with them from here to see how much they tilt around. Now these ones are the opposite. We have to be super careful with these. I'll just put it on the launch pad just to show it, but um, we're not going to launch. Okay. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Excuse me, that is pretty extreme and very prone to making us wobble back and forth and lose control. Um, I can actually adjust them from here, I think. Not all the same settings that we could change from in the vehicle bay, uh, but I can just change the... The amount of deflection, I guess. Why is that positive and negative? Flap slash spoiler deflect. Uh, I don't know. Isn't spoiler when we activate the air, air brakes? With Ferrum, you can actually use control surfaces as air brakes and not have things that explicitly are air brakes. 
That looks a bit more reasonable, still pretty aggressive. Let's put it down to like three degrees. And I imagine, uh, make it like four, four or five. I, I imagine that'll be more than enough control. It was meant as a joke, but I failed. Fair enough. May want to use fine controls to limit their authorities. Well, the thing is, if I end up in a regime like before, where it's gravity turning us toward the ground, uh, I definitely want more control authority. I might even change this in mid-flight, if that happens. Okay. Once more with feeling. We want... 18,000 to 25,000 meters. 210 to 360 meters per se- Oh crap, I was pressing the wrong direction, and this is the reason why it's good to have control surfaces. There we go. Much more control this time. Uh, I could perhaps... That's a bit wobbly, but... I think we need it right now. How much fuel do we have left? 40%? Oh, that's wobbly. Oh, okay, let's let it stabilize for a moment. And then fight it this way. I want an apoapsis of about 27,000, if possible. I shouldn't have played with it right there. It's not the time. Oh, that's actually looking pretty good. That's actually looking a little too high, even. Let's fight it this way. Okay, okay, we may be going a little too fast. It'll have to be on the way back down, because we're going to lose a bunch of speed. But we might be able to pull it off. Maybe? We're going up to 38,000. We're always losing speed. We're currently at 900-ish. We need to be below 360 before, we're, before we drop below 18,000 meters. You can change mid-flight with the caps lock, indeed. Very useful on planes and crafts with a lot of control surfaces. Yeah. I actually want to get a joystick or something. Nothing too fancy. I just want to have analog control for atmospheric flight. One of my favorite things with Kerbal Space Program is making, making it a flight sim, basically. A flight sim where you design and build the rockets, uh, the airplanes from scratch. Oh, I should probably be trying to make, like, I won't be able to do this too much, but if I push it off prograde, like, to the side, we'll get more drag. Yeah, that's, that's good. Wobble, wobble, wobble. Aziz, light. I know, there's nothing I can do about it from here. Maybe there's a mod for that. Do you know tumbling? I haven't played KSP in forever. We're already down to 26k. We're trying to drop to 360 meters per second. We're still losing speed, but I think gravity's going to have us accelerating despite the drag soon. I don't know if we're going to make it. I need to have the BACC attached for this part. That's the part we're trying to test. Yeah, we're already too low. Okay, stage. We're out of here. 
Not familiar with mods, as you may know, but I bet there's one changing camera or whatnot for YouTubers and streamers. Yeah, I hope so. Maybe I should have a look at Seacan again. Now that we've got more control authority, uh, trying again with lower thrust might be a better idea. Spin to win. How low can I set these? If I open them early. If I set like the Druze shoots to 350. And the regular one to like 100. I think we'll still probably be fine. They slow us down pretty aggressively once they open. Spin to win, take it all, just keep fighting till you fall. Indeed. I think Demacia is no longer intensifying. Oh, apparently I changed the setting on just one of the Druzes. Oh, I think I cut it a little bit close. Okay, 10 meters per second. I definitely cut it a little bit close there. Like, I don't think we could have cut it any closer than that. Okay. Okay. I think we've already done this. Okay. Okay. Demacia still intensifies. Takes me back, even though I remember Garen and Lux. I stopped playing in July 2010. Yeah, I stopped playing, I don't know when it was, but not too long after Lux. I did enjoy Lux. Uh, what should I... I need to get this contract finished. It's gonna bug me if I don't. What are we... Th what's our thrust ratio? Let's try 1.4 and mass strength multiplier. I think this means we can put more mass into it to make it take more to break. Don't really want to play with that right now. Control deflect, let's say 5%. And we don't need flap slash spoiler. Okay. Once more with feeling. Around the same time then? Yeah. Probably. Alright. I should probably have paid more attention to what angle I was settling on. This one will be a bit different because the thrust is lower, though. We definitely don't want to turn as much before we get started. In fact, we could probably get away with not turning at all because we've got so much uh, control authority compared to that other version. Your problem isn't really the aileron's range, but more their speed of change. That's a good point. Can we actually... Speed control. Oh, what is... Oh, STD control. Standard control? Yeah, if we could change... If we could keep the maximum deflection high... Like, I, kn I know there's the, like, fine controls, but it would be really nice if we could adjust specific control surfaces so that they could have a wide range, but not as fast changes. Oh crap, I'm not paying attention. 
we need to oh no we need to we need to aim down now it's too late oh no actually this isn't looking that bad how high are we going way too high actually way too high well played tumbling distracting me we're going to space um I'm just going to save time by reverting. What you're describing is exactly what Find Control does? Yeah, but I don't want to have to toggle a context-sensitive control. Let's go down to, like, 70 degrees. Not just yet, though. Not just yet, though. Oh, no. Please. Please tilt up. No. No. This thing is so sensitive. One or two degrees too much in one direction or another, and you just get locked into... Locked into a certain path. It's got to be possible, though. To have our apoapsis around... 27,000. We just have to... turn soon enough, but not too aggressively. And also aggressively enough, and also the path is invisible. What I would do for annoying booster tests that is uh, taking an almost empty one with the rocket up there? Yeah, maybe I should, even though the BACC is huge. It's a lot less mass when it's empty, though. Okay. Now perhaps this is climbing faster now. I think we have to try and go... You know what, I think we need more angle of attack. With the... That's what I could have done to salvage that last time. Oh yeah, here we go. Apoapsis, we want like 27k. Turn faster. Faster, I say. Yes. Apoapsis 30k? That's... Probably going to be fine. And we're already only at 900 meters per second, and we're going very horizontal. I think we might be able to get our, our speed range below 25,000. Now, how much do I need to slow down is the question. We're going to... Gravity is going to accelerate us while the air is going to slow us down. We need to lose like 5,000 meters and get down to 360 meters per second by the time we do, preferably. We're at 792 still. Let's turn violently and get more drag. Seesaw time. Please slow down. 660? We just need to lose another 300 before we hit... Oh, we're almost at 25k already. Oh no. Please slow down. At 18,000... Before we hit 18,000, we need to slow down to 360. Pretty please. We're down to 500? 480? 460? Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be close. Come on. 
buddy to go. Yes? We got it. We got it. That was close. Ah, uh, yes, the violently tumbling maneuver, my favorite, indeed. All right. Uh, I don't remember what I had this set to. Oh, that one's. Yeah, that's fine. I don't want to cut it super close again this time. Let's leave it at that. Stefan, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. GG, indeed. What are we going to do next? Crew reports? We can make planes, so... I don't know if we have jet engines. I don't think so. But we could maybe make, like, more or less a glider with a rocket engine. To get those up-in-the-air inspection contracts. I see ocean... And... There we go. So this actually gets us slowed down like 130 meters early. The second, the main chute opens at 250. I think I could probably set these to like 350 or something. Should be fine. And recover. And recover. And recover. And recover. There we go. There we go. Did I get your title right? You're going to unlock the KOS parts today? Yes, we've already unlocked them, I think. Or what the the basic one, the bigger one. Uh no, I was about to. But I took something over here, I think. Uh space exploration, no. Flight control. Yeah, no, we did get the oh that's the reaction wheel. Here it is. Scriptable control system. Point one two tons. Would you trust your life and limb to a mindless autopilot powered by untested software you hastily wrote yourself? Spacefaring Kerbalswood. Fantastic. I'm pretty sure we haven't yet got the smaller version that's almost or maybe literally weightless. Control? Where is it? Command and control. Yeah, here we are. I was okay until the bit where I was the one to write the hardware. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Alright, we can get rid of this thing. Safety third. Uh, let's make a plane, if we can. How much science do we have, actually? I think it was not enough to unlock anything new. We've got ten, so that's a no. Um... But I can't English? Can any of us really English? Uh, why does shift go up and down? There we go, control. And then we need... Maybe I could f filter by... I don't really have any other, like, oops. Uh, any other, like, plane parts, do I? Oh, this drop one is the ones are the ones that have liquid and oxalide, right? Oxalizer. Oxidizer. Bruh, bruh, bruh. Navigation light. Uh 
I'm kind of... I'm not going to lie, I'm, miss, I'm, I'm definitely missing the procedural wings that KSP2 has without even modding it. Uh, maybe I should get a procedural wings mod. I think I should definitely get a procedural wings mod. But we'll make do with this for now. What kind of engines do we have? Zero... Oh, we do have a jet engine. Well, it, it's so small. What? Do I have something that connects this to that? Without it looking silly? Only good things in KSP2 are taken from mods. Oh no. Uh, do I have something that goes from this size to this size without looking redonkerous? Oh yeah, just put a command pod in the back. Perfection. Beautiful. I think not. Small circular intake. Where's our small circular things to attach these to? We got this one, but then like, what cockpit are we supposed to use? I'm confused. Maybe... Maybe we attach... Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Attach these on the sides. Nice. That might be reasonable. Um, I think I could put them under the wings. Put the wings further up. And how do I... Whoa. Not like that. Where's that button that lets us reorient the wings and stuff? It's not Alt, that turns out, it turns out that's Copy. Aerodynamic will have that, if you unlocked it. Trying to link Tier 1 parts to Tier 0. Yeah, I just wanted to put a little engine on the back. Doesn't have to be fast. Um, control, alt, no. How do I, middle button, no. How do I get the, like, rotate adjusty tool rotate? Yeah, like that. What's the key for that? That seems reasonable. And then a deluxe. That looks kind of big. What am I going to put on the back? It looks barren. Heat shield. Lamau. Could slap some science on there. Apparently I can't do that. It doesn't really solve the problem. Was to que? Was to que? Yeah, but I I was looking for this thing. Drew shoot isn't actually a bad idea to slow the plane down once it's on the runway. Oh yeah, uh, wheels. Do we have those? We technically 
do uh these ones do not ma oh oh these ones do not fill me with confidence I, I i don't think any wheels in ksp fill me with confidence to be honest that's awfully close to the ground let's not how about here oh it's one two three my muscle memory kicked in Make sure that's vertical. And then landing strut. Lol. Just one of these at the front. It kind of looks like it's backward, but I guess it's not. Oh, we have like no control surfaces on this. Another cockpit at the end. <laughs> Alt. <laughs> oh no. I don't want to say what that reminds me of. Actually, it reminds me of Cat Dog. Let's say that. Awesome. Could put like a nose cone on the back, I guess. Um, and we need some elevons. How do I rotate? The further along the sides I put these, the more roll they're going to give us. Why are we not mirrored right now? There we go. Alright, what about center of mass, center of lift, etc.? Center of thrust being below the center of mass is probably fine. Uh, it's definitely not okay that the center of lift is way behind the center of mass. Or maybe not as far back as it looked. What the hell? Oh, it takes a moment to figure it out. Even though it renders it straight away. Okay, that's decent. Is the fuel going to drain... I, I think it's not going to move the center of mass that much. Uh, let's see. If we put the center of lift in front, it'll try and force the plane to pull up. Uh, and if we put it behind, it'll try and force the plane to pitch down. But it also gives it more stability. But as long as we can counter that pitch... This is fine. Look at this stubby little thing. Yes, wings on his space fighter? Yes. Add some more some more iterations with his wing angle and Darth Vader will show up. <laughs> yes. Um I don't know if we even have many more parts that I would potentially want to put on this. Oh, this thing has fuel? Wait, does this one? It does not. That doesn't have fuel either. Why does it have the drop thing on it? What does this little drip thing mean? Cargo can be placed inside it. It has variants. Okay then. I'm okay with this, though. I don't think we need batteries, because the jet engine gives us battery charge. There's some battery charge built into the cockpit, I believe. I don't think we need monoprop. That's going to bring the center of mass back a bit. Reaction wheels. I think I'll turn off the reaction wheels. We're going to have a much smoother ride that way. And we should probably put some kind of comms on this thing. Where should I put it? Hmm. 
There we go. I think the mission that we had was for atmospheric pressure, right? In any case, we should put the weightless uh, science on this thing regardless. Oops. How about... How about over here? Move that back a little bit. And... the barometer? I wanted it to be symmetrical, but... Mm, that's probably fine. Okay. Is this thing about ready? Let's slap some Kerbal Engineering on it. Let's try it, indeed. When do you need an antenna? Uh, to send reports back to... back to base, so... like, some res uh, some science... well... All of the science you can transmit back home, but some of it you actually get full points just for transmitting it. That way we can, whenever we like fly over a new biome or something, we can do a crew report and not have to like discard it later. Let's give it some lights. Requires electric charge. Where does it point the lights, though? All right. Well, let's uh, let's give it a try. Oh, I just remembered. Oh no. Wait, 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 wait. Save and continue. Can we, can we not have potholes on the runway? Thank goodness for that. Okay. We're definitely not doing potholes on the runway. Especially not for our first plane. With its crappy little landing gear. All right, let's try this thing. Warning. No remote controlled or manned control modules. Oh. There we go. There we go. Now, hopefully, uh, it doesn't decide that these wheels mean it should spin out like crazy. That's that's a noise. Can can we drop the volume of that particular delight spacecraft? That's more like it. How do I turn the lights on? There we go. Okay, that is wobbly as hell. I'm scared. Uh, are we even able to pull up? Apparently not. I, I don't like where this is going. Um, you, you saw nothing. Juno engines are basically vacuum cleaners. <laughs> L for lights? I tried that, actually. Um, center of lift was apparently too far behind the center of mass. These things can go to 20 degrees, and that wasn't enough? Huh. Do I not have some, uh, like, gentler wings as well, rather than these swept-back ones? 
Only if I want to use these crappy things, which maybe that's actually a good idea. Need the front wheel to be lower than the back wings. Wouldn't that continue pushing it further into the ground with the thrust? Uh, tool move. There we go. I think we need the center of lift further forward for this thing to take off. Okay. Let's try that. If front wheel lower, the nose will point... Oh, right, right, right. I was thinking of it backward. Are you going to stay steady? That's looking a lot better. No, it's not. I I don't like this. I'm not going to try to take off with this. We need a lot more... A lot more control surface to lift us. Oh. Oh, no. Uh, brakes? Do we have such things? I, I don't think we have brakes. Um... We are slowing down. Can I reverse thrust? Nope. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's unfortunate. Okay, it's fine. Happy ending. Perfect. <laughs> um... Yeah, I would have thought this was more than enough. I might allow these things to deflect as much as possible and see what that does. Tim is fine. Tim is a professional. Okay. If that can't pull us up, considering our center of mass and center of lift are in the same place, I, th then I don't know why. Also, can I, like... How about we turn steering off on the front wheel? That might be a good idea. There are probably some settings that I can't change now. But... Making the front less, uh, like, more stiff might have been a better idea. Are we good this time? How much speed do we need to take off? We're at 60 meters per second. Oh, good. Good. The moment that I turned SAS on. He's a professional as well, just not a building aircraft. I don't understand how this thing doesn't have enough lift at 60 meters per second to start even pulling up a bit. Uh nor why it bounces left and right when we've got a symmetrical force acting on it. Nor why this is apparently not a lot of... of control authority. Sixty meters per second is not slow. That should not be happening. The runway isn't perfect at level 2. I don't think a perfect runway helps either. We get this nonsense all the time. Let's, let's try it for science. 
Same plane, different ornament. Too heavy? I don't think so. How much thrust does this little engine have? It is pretty small. Also, I wanted to check if we had more options here. Steering disabled. Uh, I was expecting friction control. Brakes. So only the back ones enable brakes. Maybe I just need struts attached to the landing gear. <laughs> Uh, the wheels in this are so bad. Anyway, let's try the same plane, but with a different, uh, different runway. Why am I muted? Oh, please don't tell me I was, like, clearing my throat into it. Why did it flip over? What? How did I end up with scroll lock equals not muted? Oh, uh, scroll lock equals muted. What the hell? Am I muted now? Okay, perfect. Why... how the bloody hell did that flip over? You were clearing your throat and nothing else. Lovely. I love modern software. It's very cool and reliable. And not... garbage built on garbage built on garbage built on garbage. Definitely not that. This should be enough thrust. Um, what if I move these up a little bit? Even though I hate the idea. Let me just... pair this to the ground. Oh good, I can't. But I'm pretty sure... Yeah, it should naturally be pointing up now, quite a bit, actually. I like there's an emote just for that. That's good, I guess. Stefan, welcome in. Center of thrust is too far off the center of mass. If anything, that should help push... I don't think that's a problem. We've had the same problem without the center of thrust being 
lower than the center of mass. And it's wobbling already. Why? Why does it have to be this bouncy here? Like, that is not helping. I know we need to land the thing eventually, but it, first we have to take off. Oh, cool. Good, I was afraid that we would be able to slow down. Perfect. We made a car. Fantastic. Okay. Now more stable. <laughs> Indeed. So honestly, what am I supposed to do with, like, only these landing gear, and they just wobble like crazy if I dare to use them? Put, put these ones on the front as well? I'm sure that's not where we want them. Oh good. Oh, no, bad. Yeah, right where the door is. Perfect. Try with half the fuel? I don't think that's where the problem is. There are suspension options in the wheel menu. Not really. There's just brake, strength, and friction control. Um, I'm pretty sure this one was the same. You can turn steering on and off. I did disable it. And there's just friction control. That's it. I've spent as much time trying to figure out why planes do this as I've spent designing planes in this game. I've tried all sorts of things. See if that works. Is the front attached? What do you mean attached? Oh. Uh, don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh, well, good. We're turning for no reason. I was afraid we would go straight if we um if we accelerated and didn't turn. Magnets. Like, we've built a symmetrical craft. Apparently not. I think the wheels themselves are probably asymmetrical. Like, even though we've mirrored them, the the design, the, like the, the model, where the wheels actually are, probably isn't symmetrical. Could try putting them on the wings. <laughs> oh, this is ridiculous. Yes. Brilliant. Perfect. 10 out of 10. Yeah, that looks stable. Let's put these up here. Uh, 
And I just want, like, the default rotation for these things. That the devs would expect you to put... The, the way the devs would expect you to put them on the craft. So, presumably like this. And then we're just going to take... The steerable landing gear. Put that on the front as well. At such an angle so it will look up. We're going to turn off steering. Um, we're going to enable the rudder to go as far as it likes, because it's not going to do much anyway. We're going to enable this thing to go as far as it likes. And we're going to see what happens. <clears throat> Again? What is doing this? I'm going to restart that stupid microphone mute program. Uh, okay. Are we good now? C can we not have the the microphone muted state randomly change? That would be nice. Pressing a shortcut, yes. Yeah, I use scroll lock because whoever uses scroll lock and it's got like a, a light so, so I can tell if it's on or off. Supposedly. Sergeant Dog, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, um, I've had this like mic mute program uh like if i don't use the microphone for a while uh if it's been running a long time it starts doing weird things so i just exit it and restart and it works uh but i've never had it do that in the middle of a stream before that's cool Alright, let's try that. Quality update? It's not updated. Uh, hmm, Windows did update. Maybe I was a fool to let Windows update. Alright, let's see what this does. I think it'll- I think it will be straight this time. It was acting as if... I had put these wheels at an angle, but I didn't. Did they release a new, more expensive software? <laughs> oh, lovely. Oh, it's a little third-party thing. Alright, this looks normal. We're at 120 meters per second, that's not that fast. 
Yeah, what... I don't understand... Okay, how... Hmm, maybe the wheels are blocking... Blocking us from pulling up when we're on the runway. Because the nanosecond that we're actually in the air, we pull up pretty violently. I guess I need to move the back wheels forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the set, the the lift here. The, the point where we change the lift is ahead of the wheels, so I think it's like pushing down like this, and the wheels are here, and therefore it's got nowhere to go. Half my planes are end of runway planes too. <laughs> Indeed. Big brain? Hope so. Uh, let's go... Where's the map? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I gotta pay attention. Uh, what, what, what? No, stop it. Stop it. Stop. Stop. Stop it. What? What is the point of you, pilot, if you can't... SAS your way out of... Oh my god. Give us some thrust again. Why... Why are you like this? Now we're in a flat spin? There's 800 meters left. Yeah, I'm not getting control of that. Didn't allow for curvature? What do you mean? I was trying to look at the map and then we just completely lost control. Uh, I'm gonna move these... forward. And I guess I need to move them down as well. And now they're floating. Cool, cool. Uh, because I need the part where this control surface, like, with the change in lift, pushes down to be behind the back wheels. That might be the reason that we couldn't, even though we could easily pull up once we were in the air, that might be the reason that we couldn't, um... Oh good, now we're looking down. Mm. I'll just move that again a little bit. Like, maybe like that. I hope we can get away with this, actually. Otherwise it's going to be that much more difficult to land. Trying to make a fast plane? Just trying to make a plane, really. But I don't want to use those brick wings. Johan Anderson, good to see you again. You're welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Note that the only change I made with the wheels was the way that I placed them, not their actual angle or anything earlier on. And I still can't pull up off the runway. Oh, oh, okay, that... I think I need to... Why is this not enough to make the tail go down, is the question. Wheels are as stable as my mental state. I'm gonna try moving them forward yet again. It's getting really dangerous for the butt hitting the ground when we try to land. Also, I'll try not making the control surfaces quite so aggressive. Since it's not 
It's not the amount, it's that pulling up is doing nothing. While we're on the runway, but not after. Trying to land how optimistic? We'll get there. Okay. That actually looks pretty decent. We will have to... We will have to pull off a good landing with that sticking out that far back. Alright, how fast should we go before we try to pull up? Let's say a hundred. It's not doing anything. I'm not going to pull up as we go off the runway. Uh, okay, so now... If I don't... If I'm not trying to pull up the moment that we hit the end of the runway, I dip down immediately. I'm going to try the max... The max on these control surfaces. You've got to be kidding me. The mute program's been running like five minutes and it's randomly flipped again. It seems you get muted after the crash. Bruh. I don't fucking know. Maybe I need to not try to use the mute button while it's, like, loading the game? That's very weird. Uh, anyway, give me a smaller fuel tank for the back part. One with just liquid oxygen. Oh yes, this one has the other stuff as well. Get rid of that oxidizer. This thing needs to go further down, that's obvious. Can can I turn off the snap to here? Sound card on board? Uh it is on board, yeah. Let's see what happens after next crash. Imagine assuming there will be a next crash. How pessimistic. Okay. Do you think I need more control surface? I shouldn't. I'm pretty sure I shouldn't. Let's put this thing on the underside, I guess. Where's our center of mass, center of lift now? Also, get, get, get up there. Oh yeah, this is a good angle. There we go.
Alright, center of mass, center of lift. Ooh. Oof, owie. That's... That's kind of nasty. But then the center of lift is in front of the back wheels again. What a disaster. Well, not the center of lift, but like... I guess... What if I move these things back here? Oh, good. We're not symmetrical with the wing. That's what I like to see. Now I need to adjust this again. Good, good. And... Where's, where's the center of lift? It's gone on holiday. There it is. Now it's way too far forward. Okay. Uh, why does it jump that, that far back? And now I can't see it? Okay, that, that should be fine. I, I hate the way the wings come up to where the cockpit is, but we'll see. The wings in front of the cockpit, please. No. Maybe I'll maybe I'll put some like make the make the plane longer, put the wings further back, and put some little winglets at the front, because this looks ridiculous. This is probably the ugliest plane I've ever made. But I wanna do the experiments and try to figure out why the hell it fails in the ways that it does. So these are behind the back wheels, so once we've got some speed and we pull up, the front should be pushed forward, right? There should be this angle of, like, relative force down this way. Nope. Nothing, somehow. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Don't forget to watch for scroll lock. Yeah. Um. How about we put this where it looks not ridiculous? And. Add some little winglets up here. That looks kind of. It's got whiskers now. Kind of decent. Now I can't move this back far enough. Cool, cool. And then... Kind of like that. It's going to have it pushing down. Yes. that That's where I want to see my center of lift. 600 kilometers behind the center of mass. Give me that big fuel tank again. That is so far back. Okay, that's getting better. Not that far back, please. That might be okay. That obviously needs to go back and further down down. Oh, good. No. Yes. No. Okay. That's way too far back. Alright, let's try that, I guess. No issues this time, indeed. 
All right. The front things are a bit bigger than I'd like, but other than that, this looks better. Almost looks like something that could actually fly. Why are we bouncing so much? That's actually extremely disconcerting. I think this is going to wobble. Well, so far so... decent? Let's try pulling up. Nothing? Really? Look at all these... Look at how much we've got trying to pull us up. And, and it just violently yanks upward as soon as we're actually in the air. I... Why? Why would it do that? If it's more than enough to pull it up when it's in the air, but it can't pull up at all when it's in the ground. That... The only thing I can think of is the wheels are too far back. But if we put them far enough forward for that not to happen, we're just going to slam the plane's butt into the ground. Like, let's say we put it here. Oh good, it's not mirrored. Perfect. Let's say we put it, like, all the way over here. I think we're gonna have no problem lifting up off the runway and immediately slam the back of it into the runway. Not at Why? It's definitely when we go into the loading sometimes that the mute flips. Very weird. Now, yeah, I saw it. All right. So this is, uh, we literally moved it back like one unit, right? With the snap to. It tilted because I turned to the left. Which means it's actually stable, it actually, like, re... resets itself. <clears throat> okay, I think that could have worked. It's dangerous and difficult, but I screwed it up. Um... I, like, overreacted to it getting off the ground. I think this technically is a plane that can fly. Can we perhaps get away with pushing it one further back? Let's just keep moving it back by one and see how long we can get away with it. Oh 
Okay. It's not the prettiest, but when it works, it's hard to make a pretty plane with the, uh, the absolute earliest tech that you can throw together to make a plane. Especially now, with these little things. Okay, a hundred, pull up gently, and we're dead. Oh, okay then. Oh, okay. How could we change this? Why are we... Because this sticks out too far. It's not the wings that are blowing up first, right? How could they? Like, say this this whole thing rotates like this. I'm pretty sure this part has to blow up first. But when we made it shorter... That messed up the whole center of mass, center of lift and everything. Uh, I'm gonna try putting on these stupid wings. Is this really the only... Oh, we've got the B type. Probably don't need these front things now. Absolutely hideous. Leave that on default settings. Center of mass, center of lift is way forward. I'll try putting this up here. Where's the center of lift? Just behind. Okay. And the f wheels probably don't need to be that far forward. And now I have to pick them up. Okay. So the only thing that I... The, the thing that I changed about the wheels that made them stop making us wobble to death was not actually their orientation or anything. It's that I'm starting from this position of they're placed exactly on the sides as opposed to doing something like this and then rotating them like the exact same thing. Uh, instead, I just place it like that and then translate it. That's the big difference. The rest is just we need to find a layout where we can put the wheels in a place that will allow the train to uh, train the plane to pull up off the runway and also function as landing gear properly. Near the cost of the vessel, you have icons uh, for dot display information. Yes, I know. All right. I hate the squareness of these wings, but what are you going to do? Let's try it. Wheels are nice and smooth. And can we pull up? How fast are we? 65. That's probably not enough. Let's try it now. It's not happening. Oh, good. need to actually steer the thing, it just doesn't want to 
It, it, it likes to do some random steering on the runway. And I, get, I, I put too much faith into it. That it would come off the end of the runway. As opposed to the side. It really wants to go to one side. Alright, that's over a hundred. Still can't pull up. Wheels are probably too far- holy crap. Uh, I could have sworn the center of lift was just barely behind the center of mass, but apparently it's actually, like, back here somewhere. I don't know. Maybe we do need more thrust. How much do we get out of these things? That's just the intake. What's the engine? Uh, 20 kilonewton? That doesn't sound like enough. I mean... The fact that we're going over a hundred meters per second by the time we reach the end of the runway would seem to imply that we should be able to take off, but uh, 20 kilonewtons is not a, not a lot of thrust. I don't know if more thrust is going to help though. Let's change one thing at a time. Over 30 parts. Uh, an arbitrary. I can't upgrade it. Because we upgraded the runway, which made no difference. So I can't give it the engine parts unless we can... How many parts is this? 31? I have to take off one part. Fine. Actually, this thing. Give me that bombs back. Camera angles. Good gravy. Alright, let's try that. Do I have any like diagonal wing pieces? Maybe I could maybe I could give it some more lift. We're already at 80. Yeah, we're gonna get like double the speed before the end of the runway almost. Ideally you want it to be able to oh wow, okay. We definitely need to pull the stick back. I, ideally, I think a plane that takes itself off, but after it spends some fuel, the center of lift ends up behind the center of mass. Um, let me see where the center of mass is when we have no fuel. Ooh, that's not good. Hold on. So it's right about here. It doesn't move that much overall. 
kind of does. That's like the opposite of what we want. As the fuel drains, if anything, we want the center of lift a little bit in front for takeoff. And a little bit behind later on. How could I change that without... Okay. Drain it. Uh, that's actually decent. Okay, that was... Oh no, what did I just change? Oh no, I don't want whatever this is. Put it back with defaults, please. Uh, knowing how these things fit together... You know what, I think I'll do it this way. I, I want it attached to the front of this wing, not to the plane itself, otherwise... Otherwise, the two pieces of wing are going to be, like, flapping next to each other. How can I rotate it so that the origin point... I guess I can't. We're going to have to put a couple of little struts in here. Otherwise, this and this are going to, like, flap out of sync. You're kidding. We don't have struts? No, that shouldn't be a thing. Uh, okay, let's hope for the best, I guess. This does actually accomplish what I was talking about with the... Uh, the way the center of mass changes as our fuel changes. If anything, it's too far forward. It's probably not that bad for takeoff. Over 30 parts. Fine. I didn't want to do science anyway. Wait, it's still 31? Oh, this was this was like duplicated. There we go. Just duct tape it? That's what struts do. Blaz, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Alright, this time. We've got the lift, we've got the thrust, we've got the center of mass behind the center of lift at first, and then eventually, as we run out of fuel, it swaps. Theoretically, this thing, this thing should take itself off. Because the center of lift is in front of it. It's not happening, is it? It's not happening, is it? it of course, perfect shot to the, the one obstacle on the runway. Cool. Let's try that again, but steering it like we shouldn't have to. I'm just going to point the mouse right here. It's definitely steering to the right. I'm holding left with all of my might. There it goes. Now it's going too far to the left. Oh god, it's so... There's like so much momentum... ...behind... Huh. 
there's so much momentum behind uh, just trying to steer it left and right for some reason. I guess we just have a tiny little... This is kind of far forward. We do just have a tiny little control surface for... Uh, for the rudder. And I did disable... Um, reaction wheels. I mean, I could enable the reaction wheels, that would make it a lot easier, but it makes it harder to see our mistakes. Maybe the thrust... Uh, where can I put this? Maybe the thrust being above was bad after all. Alright, where, where's our center now? That looks pretty good, actually. This thing's going to get blown up when we try to land, though. I just know it. Alright, let's try this, I guess. You thought it was going to be a 10 minute basic plane design, but it was me, 700,000 tweaks to make the thing take off. Don't go left. Don't go right. One fifty? And what happens if I touch nothing? Holy crap, why? What? What the? What? If the center of lift being forward made it pull up that violently, then why nothing from the runway? Wheel position? That was weird, indeed. I'm going to try moving these forward again, one step at a time. Mm, probably should do like two steps from there. Same thing. I'm not touching the controls. That's really weird, actually, because... Well, let's try moving the center of lift back a bit. Oh god, I have to move all of this, don't I? The accepted wisdom is that the center of lift should start behind. But I've made it work without it being there. Maybe the center of thrust. Maybe if we just have these engines on the sides with the center of thrust perfectly aligned with the center of mass. And we've got more lift than we had before and and maybe actually the center of lift should be a bit further forward again it's probably too far forward no that might be okay let's 
Let's try that. So we're gonna need the whole runway, but that hasn't changed. Center of lift is supposed to be ahead of us, we're at the end of the runway and it's still not pointing up. Oh, much more st- holy crap. Um... Much more stable until I tapped the control key. Uh, let's make our control surfaces a lot less aggressive. See how that goes. We had to remove the lights because of arbitrary part count. gonna do? Uh, okay. The exact same thing happened. I made the control surface at the back one quarter as strong. But it's still, with just a tap of it, flicked it into a regime where it kept bouncing back and forth. What happens if I make it really weak? Like, literally the minimum. The plane is <laughs> nodding in approval? It's listening to death metal? Maybe the green dude playing with the controls? <laughs> I don't get it. The, um, the control surfaces really aren't very big relative to the wingspan. Uh, not just span, but like the area of the wings. Okay, so we take off with no button touch. It looks stable. Oh, it started pulling itself up this time. do that. Where's our center of lift? It's barely in front. Let's try making it the same. I could, could do it like that. That actually looks really good, even if the wing doesn't. Let's try and make it work. Okay. That to me implies that we've got enough lift to get off the runway 
ages before the end of the runway. Because by the time it's... By the time it gets off the end of the runway, it's got so much lift from the speed that it's unstable. Um, that it pulls up violently. Okay, that did not pull up violently. Quite the opposite. Well, not the opposite. It was very slowly down, which is normal. And then try moving the wheels forward. We're going to have the same problem again. We're going to we're going to hit our butt on the ground. I look at real planes where they have their wheels and I just don't know how they get away with it. Seems like they can put them almost wherever they please. Still not enough to lift off. Alright, what are you going to do if I don't touch the controls? Actually, let me pull it up a bit this time. Well, I guess we're flying now. It is still surprisingly sensitive. Oh, control deflect is still on 5. I thought I set it to like a tenth of that. Let's use the precise controls. Oh, I, I already asked too much of it. Okay, okay. I guess we're dead now. Get back to prograde. Nope. Yes. Yes. Nope. Yes. Yes. Pull up. Pull up. Yes. Stop wobbling, please. SAS time. Fantastic. Alright. What? Why are we drifting to the side like this? No. What? That doesn't make any sense. I just stabilized and I touched nothing. What? Why? Why are you like this? <sighs> Planes are a little bit more difficult with Ferrum Aerospace. If we had the thrust at the center back, that would definitely make it a lot easier. Hmm. Maybe I can give it a bigger... Bigger fin as well. I don't really have anything that I'd like to use as a fin, though. Oh, how about this? That might be a little more stable. And we're still not able to coax it into pointing up while it's on the runway. For some reason. May as well put the wheels back if, if it's not going to do that anyway. Maybe the wheels were too far forward. Maybe... 
No. No, oh, we can try it. Okay. Feels weird not having the the tail now. suppose we can lift off. Not even close. Can we at least fly steady? Mm, nope. You'd think I'd move to the center of lift behind the plane. Where is it? Is it just not going to show it now? There it is. It's it's literally on the center of mass. Why the hell would it dive? That actually makes no sense. I've never seen anything like this before. Center of lift is basically exactly where the center of mass is. And it dives pretty aggressively. What are the variables are there? Is there just not enough lift? How many parts do we have? 25? Uh, I guess... Try putting these over here. Have you tried turning it off and on again? <laughs> Aggressively dies. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, let's see what this does. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have another tail. Because I want to. You're not my mum. I'll do what I want. If it fits, do it. I will be limiting the control authority on this thing, though. And this one should not have been set so... Uh, it's probably fine, actually. In fact, if anything, it should probably be more aggressive. Also, where are our wheels? Probably too far back. Let's try this. Oh, of course, how silly of me. I forgot we can't have nice things. Is that a... That's like a double landing gear. I'm pretty sure. Parts 32. Parts 31. It was a double landing gear. I don't think that caused us any problems. I'm surprised surprised it didn't. Alright, let's see what that does. I am indeed not your mum. Fantastic.
So this time I left the center of lift a little bit ahead. And we've got twice the thrust. And I've got a much more aggressive rudder. For when it tries to pseudo coup off to the side. Okay, what now? Okay, what if these engines were down here? Because I can't think of another variable, considering that the center of lift was in front of the center of mass. It should have been aggressively pulling up, if anything. Um, I don't care about this clipping right now, I just want to see it potentially work. It is really wanting to go to the right. I'm, I'm pushing left with all my might. What the hell? What? The... The parts that I moved were symmetrical. What do you mean? That was a pretty weird takeoff though. The, the parts that I moved were literally symmetrical, but then it keeps aggressively going to the right all of a sudden. Can I turn off the snap too? Yeah, let's, let's put this like here. Hello? Center of lift? There you are. For some reason the plane lifting its back first? Yeah, I don't know. Probably push this forward a bit. I was supposed to be using Kerbal operating system <laughs> today. Okay, this time I'm not even touching the controls, it's just staying straight. What did I even change? I moved those engines without a snap to, and I moved the back wheels slightly. And now it behaves, well, somewhat. In the first moment after takeoff at least, it behaves the way I would have expected. Okay, so let's get that center of lift a bit further back. See how that goes.
it's already facing up slightly. Ever so slightly. Left, please. There you go. What now? That's pretty stable. That's very stable. I'm not touching the controls. Now what happens if I try to turn? That's pretty damn wobbly. It would be more stable if the center of lift was further back. But I don't know if, uh... If we would take off. Oh boy, it doesn't want to... It doesn't want to do that, okay. Let's slow down a bit. Seems pretty good now. So what was the magic word? What was the combination of variables that we did so different this time? Obviously it would be a big improvement if we could get the nose up on the runway, but... What the f What? Excuse me, what? Why did it... Is, what just exploded and why? I... I honestly don't know what exploded because... We... We seem to still be fine. I'm looking for parts that have... That have exploded and I can't find any. Did we just lose the comm thingy? What? What? That plane nearly faster than sound, indeed. Yeah, you shouldn't need this much thrust just to get something like this to fly. It's actually really stable right now. It turns very slowly. It's very stable. I don't think we're going to land, we're going too fast. Uh, and I didn't set up spoilers. Well, there's a lot of room for improvement, but it flies. It doesn't take off without the air underneath its wheels at the end of the runway. Uh, but it can get in the air. We made progress eventually. I'm, I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to entrust the pilot to keep her steady. I think it needs more speed. So it needs to be like 200 meters per second to be able to pull up enough, it seems like. How much fuel do we have left? Oh, all of it. Okay. 
We need to go above 19 kilometers. I don't think we can do that. Not in this thing. We'll see. I think these, even though we've got more thrust than we should need, um, I think these little engines probably won't give us much thrust as we get higher. Which means I should try to put myself on a projectile path that'll send us above it. I don't think it's doable in this thing. Yeah, we're losing speed already. We're never going to get that high. <laughs> Not in this. Okay. Let's just try landing. If we can ever turn around... I'm going to make this one a lot more aggressive. In fact, okay, that's obviously too far. How about 20? Can I make it not help us roll, though? Pitch, yes, your, no. Roll, no. Or at least not as much. Why are we wobbling when I try to roll? Okay, uh, you can you can help us roll somewhat. That's a bit better. Should probably be a hundred. No. Flap slash spoiler. All of it. it. Doesn't seem to be doing anything when I hit the brakes. Uh, I've actually turned the engine off and we're still approaching it over 200 meters per second. Might have a little bit of trouble bleeding enough speed here. Might also have a bit of trouble... ...landing the thing even if our approach was ideal. I can't make this thrust go backward, can I? No. Just make the wheels touch the... Touch the runway. What's the worst that could happen? What is the worst that could happen? Oh. I see. Okay. Uh, I think that's going to do it for this week. Um, I might play around with this. I, I might go back to... I can't remember the name of it, but there's a very, very good introduction to making planes that someone made. I thought I had remembered all the variables to play around with. Uh, but there's clearly one or two that we're stumbling into by accident. Also, I really need to make some control surfaces aggressively air break to make this thing land. But yeah, we got it we got it functional. It flies. They just it just needs to be tweaked and improved. And I need to learn the magic formula for making the nose actually go up 
from the runway next week. All right, let's see who's playing Kerbal. The original. Hey, it's Discount Engineer. Why not? Why not? Okay, thank you all for watching. Do take care, and I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints for Factorio if you're into that, if you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. Tomorrow we'll be back to Oxygen Not Included, and the day after, another three days of uh, Space Exploration and Crestorio 2. Back to our wheelhouse of Factorio. Also, poem about T hacks is in the Discord. <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, say hello to Discount, who is being slightly more effective at KSP at the moment. Take care, guys. If it fixes more than they've said it's going to fix. But at this point in time, I'm expecting them to fix... fix the... Um, fix the engine bug, because they said they were going to fix that. And then we're going to look at electrical flow...